Can we drop a target here on top and call it a bamboo coral knoll? Yep, we can definitely do that. You're going to get a nice Argus shot in a minute, if it ever gets there. Are you okay with the zoom on Argus, Dan? Sure. Okay. It's, it's headed that way. <laughs> I think. And we'll have super zoom. It should be, uh, it should come right over that knoll. So we've got Open. Uh, Ritigorgia. We actually sampled this one right here, this larger one, uh, on our watch during one of the previous dives. I don't know if it was the one before. Uh, was it? That was the giant nice. one? The giant one, the old one, yeah. yeah. Same species here. Uh, Ritogorgia colonies, we've got a couple of other Chrysogorgid colonies. Uh, all those types, types of golden corals. So it's more than just the bamboo corals here, huh? Yeah, that's a, definitely a mixed group. I thought I saw Plexorid actually also a little bit further back next to where the sponges were. Um, it's a yellow sea gorgonian. Which way? No, no, I, I, it was a ways back. Uh, we passed it when we sampled this place. To stop and uh, hold for a bit, so I'd rather keep moving. Yeah, I'm still waiting on the ship. Yeah, and I'm going to put in another move. Steve, do you have a preference on how we get up to the summit? Um, let me show you our current. That's our current Bearing, but I could do a little more to the west if you'd like to land kind of in the middle of it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't have a, an opinion right now. I just kind of want to follow the topography here. Okay. Does, it, does it head in that direction? Uh, these contours are... The white ones are five meters... You come out a little wider on Argus. It looks like it heads off oh, to the north. Yeah, you don't need to come up a yeah. little bit. Okay. It's okay if we don't cut through the exact summit. Okay. We can kind of skirt around it. But yeah, let me um, zoom out and see where we point through this. Was the plan to just make a direct? That's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So y you could cut around kind of the... Okay. On okay. this contour, uh, cut around to the north. Give her another move too, Sam. Yeah. But let's make this one uh, three one five. Three one five. Yeah, I just need to get Argus behind ah. me there a little to Roger. get around this. No. I'll do a two zero meter. Yep. Bridge now. Yeah. Two zero meters bearing three one five. Gonna back off there for a minute, Steve, and come back in at my sure. I can't I don't have quite the leash to come around. Oh, I'm getting your messages on the feed saying that we lost all three channels. We'll check that on our end, but go ahead and refresh. is going to get close as it goes over the top there, but okay. that's, that's what we want. We're going to wait before you come up. We're going to get a good shot here. You can bring your head to the left a few degrees, maybe. Yeah, I am working on that. Roger. That's the Argus money shot there. You got lights <laughs> on two sides. Yeah. Nice. Okay, should have enough to uh, come around and go up or down as you wish, Steve. Yeah, let's um, 
Can we head kind of northwards? Yep, we're moving north all the time, so. Yep. Northwards. How about? Yeah, yeah, that that's angle? exactly right. Yeah. That's a zero two five then. Let's do that. We still have about fourteen meters left on this move. And we need to get around that rock there. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll do that first. I'll get some good images. We come around and then. Roger. I was curious to check out, uh, so if, if we follow this down this way, if right. any of those rocks down off to the left were loose once we get over there. Uh, I'm not, not optimistic on this, but just throwing it out there. Back to the rock hunt? Yeah, that's kind of the way it's going there. Yeah. A little saddle here. Uh, yeah, I'm not optimistic, but uh, mm -hmm. I think got to keep our eyes open. It's kind of our default setting is rock hunt. Got rock it. hunters. The great rock hunters. As soon as we say rocks, we get some questions about the rocks, obviously. Um, this one is, do crystals ever form inside any of these rocks or the rocks that we've sampled thus far? Uh, the answer is yes, right? So different volcanic rocks. Um, when magma kind of leaves its chamber, so to speak, crystallization begins so you get tiny to larger sized minerals growing in them so there are these green crystals called olivine that you can see um, there are some white rectangular ones that are called plagioclase um, as for geode type stuff we actually sampled a volcanic rock earlier this cruise on I think it was our first dive um, first successful dive and once it was cracked open, there were a couple of little air pockets with little geodes forming in them, which is really cool. Can we zoom in on that, Colony? Sure. Go ahead, Tammy. Yeah, gotta get one this polyp zoom out of this. So this would be a. Internodal brancher. Uh, it, lo it, it looks now. very much like something uh, that's called Jason Isis. Uh, or something in the J clade. Um, for a number of years, and still actually, uh, we often will lump bamboo corals into groups called clades. That's great. Thanks for the imagery. I'm all set. That's beautiful. I do. Um, because it's very difficult uh, to identify some of these bamboo coral species based on you know just these observations, and even when you have a specimen, Push in just uh, a bit, some of the taxonomy is still in, in a working state, although that's been made more clear lately. Um, but we have different clades to identify different groups of similar, similarly associated. Uh, morphotypes or um, fancy word in the sciences is, is uh, OTUs, uh, Operational Taxonomic Units, uh, which basically means similar, uh, you know, a species, if you can't call it a species, it's, you know, a sequence that is similar to, uh, you know, another group of species. You can lump those into a clade, uh, a clade of multiple OTUs or multiple species. So that's how we get some of the clade names here. You want another move to get Argus around, or? No, we'll go right over. Good to go? Yeah. Okay, so we'll do zero two five. Right. Bridge nav. Two zero meters bearing zero two five. The branch that looks devoid of color, is that dead? 
Ah, uh, yeah. So old. up on the top there. Yeah, so these are um, branches that are completely naked of polyps, mm -hmm. uh, probably predated upon, uh, but I'm not seeing any evidence of a predator right here yet. But that, that is, yeah, typically what predation looks like. Can you tilt down as we go over? Yeah. I like the, sh the shot from Argus looking down on the little coral bed. Mm -hmm. It's cute. This is a question I haven't seen before. Um, we probably generate a lot of data. What are the total data storage capabilities that we have on board? No idea. Those are Call good in the questions. data lab. Yeah. <laughs> right? Many. We don't often get those questions, but. Like, right? That's just a new one. Yeah. But it's, it's a good point. Um, you know, data is really important. That's why we're out here, collect data. But, uh, you know, these, uh, this video and you know, all the sensors we have don't, you know, they're not saving the data for free. We have to, you know, have systems in place that um, store this data and that transfer it to shore, make it readily available to scientists in ways that's not too complicated. Uh, <laughs> not complicated. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Uh, I'll, I'll give you a big tip. You know, scientists, okay, they don't like. A bit. Come they up. don't usually like to see raw data. Uh, sometimes, uh, so if I get nice, nice and packaged, if it can be. Uh, some people like the raw data, but uh, basically, if it's more accessible and more usable, more scientists will use it. Um, and that's kind of the end goal is we want is to make it accessible these data to be accessible yeah to a wide variety of audience without having to have too much uh, specialization all right you ready uh, to leave this ready, ready yep ready to leave this no let's go here we go I just thought the data question was interesting because we haven't gotten that one. I haven't gotten that one yet. We do have uh, data engineers on board, right? Um, Two of them. Uh, yeah, and a data lab. So mm, they're not here right now, so I can't ask them that question. But I'm gonna I'm gonna save that and see if I can get an answer. Maybe on the next watch, I can talk about it. Yeah, they get really busy towards the end of the cruise. They have to take all this data and roll it up in some simple format and uh, hand it over to the scientists who are walking off the ship. It's a nice Argus placement there, Sam. Perfect. Excellent. Money shot. Look at all these rocks. I know, they look so <laughs> nice. Rocks for days now. Some of those smaller ones. Bridge now. Mm -hmm. What do you think Maybe. is uh, most promising under here? Yeah, two zero meters, zero two five. How do you feel like poking or punching? Are you feeling punchy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somewhere down here. I mean, clearly these things are not in place, but oh, this this one's got to be loose. That one's got to be loose. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. They uh, would have just rolled down from. It's you a good know, spot to land if you're interested in any of those. Edge. Well, let's try it. I mean, we need a good rock. We need a solid. Just. You ready? Aren't most yeah, rocks ready. solid down there? Yeah. Mm. Touch and grab. Oh, I mean, hey, the various different though? porosities. I'm going to touch on this. I'm guessing, rock. you know, some of the altered stuff is probably not as dense as oh, the salts. Oh, yeah, no, no absolutely uh, not. Some of the altered stuff can be pretty soft and easy to break off. Oh, um, time. Yeah. Whereas volcanic material, if it's relatively unaltered, it's pretty uh, densely packed. Okay. 
if that's not loose, I'll eat my hat. Yeah. <laughs> Are you wearing a hat? No. Not your headset. Go eat your headset. <laughs> I think that's unsanitary. <laughs> Just the foam bit. They're brand new. It only touched whatever <laughs> you touch it to or you <laughs> ate. <laughs> this has got to have some nice crust on it, maybe, too. Hard eaten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about? Uh, I mean, that's kind of heavily sedimented, but. I think this one. Yeah, that one. Is that or the one like directly up to the left of it? Oh, yeah, I was thinking the one right on. behind. Yeah. The darker colored one there. Can you reach down that far. Oh, you'll struggle. Okay, yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh, you better grab it before you lose. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> so. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, that okay. one's loose. Hang on, let me get a better grab on it. Let's Just grab, 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 yeah? grab. Yeah? Okay. Look All at right. that. Look at that. I don't want to uh, lose this in the cliff here. Okay. Can I ask Tammy for a zoom? Yep. Can we go and zoom on that, Tammy? I shake it off a little. <laughs> I have a good feeling about that rock. <laughs> good looking rock. Oh, still having it's a good real weathered on the bottom there. Uh, uh -oh. No, but that could just be because that's something that was stuck in the sediment. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Is that a collectible or is that a throwaway? Collect it. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Um, and we'll just note that it looks like that piece is like crust on top. It looks like two different rocks there. Like this, this yeah, piece yeah, is there's detached. Like, yeah, yeah, there's like, yeah, yep. Okay. Get the sample level, please. Sure. Oh, I don't know when we did that. That's nice. You don't have to. Which one? You have it all in front of you now. That's new. Yeah. Uh, Clever. Uh, not new. Anywhere but F. Okay. How about E? Perfect. There it is. Nicely done. Rock sampling on the fly. I love it. Yeah. That question's coming in if you're, um, that you must be great at those claw machines at the arcade as well. <laughs> we <laughs> always get that question. I am horrible at that thing. I've never, ever won anything off of it. And I've given it lots of money. I can never play rigged. One. You would think that we would be good at that, right? Mm -hmm. Can I Yeah. Now we gotta play with our cameras again to get to. Uh, oh, yeah. You know what? Yep. Okay. Yeah, but the SC2 would be. Yep. The anti bashing view. Anti bashing. Like, that way I can glance at it and make sure I'm not. This rock here definitely yeah. has a very different texture and overall appearance definitely does not as crusty as some of the stuff down below yeah almost looks yeah we'll, ho we'll hold her up till i catch up yep i'm on the wrong side again again <laughs> <laughs> everything was so nice when you use Can't the keep term it in the box crusty, for long. are you referring to its texture or crust it's, it's the texture, so down deeper we had more of these botryoidal textures, you know, bumpiness. Mm -hmm. Here it's, uh, I don't know if it has much crust at all. It's, it's almost like you can see, you know, it's very, it's not very dark. Could be sediment, of course. Mm -hmm. um, 
but you know maybe these are areas where there have been you know failures recently or something and pieces have broken off yeah uh, How am, I, how am I doing with my geology words? No, you're, you're doing you've well. You're doing pretty well. up a little bit in the last couple of days, Steve. Can you tilt up just a bit? Yep. Another garden up here just I, uh, above us. I don't know if you're available, Rebecca. What type of rocks are we collecting, and do they smell when we bring them up on deck? <laughs> <laughs> um... So we're hoping to collect some volcanic material. So that's going to be basalt. Um, but we have collected some sedimentary stuff as well that has some of this ferromanganese crust on it, um, as well as some really, really weathered and altered material. So it's kind of hard to tell on the seafloor. Um, I'm hoping all this stuff is volcanic, though. We've been seeing some nice sheet flows and pillow basalt textures, so that's a good sign. Is that it? And that how do they it. smell? And how do they smell? Um, they don't really smell. It's mostly the biology stuff that smells. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Other important question, how do the rocks taste? Well, if it's hat light, salty. Okay. Um, can't say I've licked a bunch of other things. What? I thought this was like number one <laughs> tool in the geologist toolkit. <laughs> you know, it can be for some people. Mm -hmm. These are cool formations. These are really cool. I think our, uh, our DBL is way off. <laughs> I think I'm up here. Yeah. Let me res let me just move the cursor to be on uh on the smear. Yeah. She's looking uh she's looking three one five and I'm yeah, I'm on the right side. Gotta be. There you go. How's that? Yeah, it sounds ish. Looks better. Well, in that case, ready for a ship back? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we've changed the map to suit how we <laughs> want it to be. <laughs> well, it was just like, yeah. Yeah, it, it seemed weird. Bridge nav. Sometimes it takes a double take. Uh, two zero meters bearing zero four zero, please. Zero four zero. Yeah, we uh, our little joy drift. Us a little yeah, farther away. Keep wanting to go that way. I know. I mean, we can if that's where the rocks are, right, Steve? That no, is. I think we need to start moving on. Yeah. Okay. No more. But no more time's fun over. Rocks. Must achieve waypoint. Must achieve waypoint. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't need to achieve the waypoint, but yeah, I I don't like going through the waypoint, but uh, so sometimes it's the direction we need to go to to get to our next site. Yeah, that zero four zero is gonna. You see what we're leaving yeah, there, right? right? So we'll head off into the. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, it's right. gonna it's gonna pick up again. So we, yep. we've got what like 100 meters maybe before it starts to pick up again, oh, maybe a little bit more. So we can increase the pace at which we cover this summit. That was a fantastic watch. Thank you for the. Yeah. We did some awesome. mining. We did Terrain. some. Uh, well, not really. We <laughs> <laughs> excavating, I guess. <laughs> Didn't get anything though. The suspense. It's drama. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of something for everyone. <laughs> this is, I feel bad for the next watch because they're in there watching these fantastic <laughs> clips and coral. <laughs> no. Go under the mud. Here we go. See ya. <laughs> but we have set them up for a lot of nice things on other watches. So. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, we did that last night, kind of, too. Or last dive. Oh, somebody must have just. Oh no, Steve, you haven't done this. Um, zero, if you taste some zero. of the geology samples, zero do you zero. taste biology samples? Okay, what do sponges taste like? <laughs> Steve? Definitely not recommended. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. don't try the sponges. But tinafores, that's okay. Yes. With... with <laughs> There's one of your snow... Uh, No plague thingies. Um, 
So we're all good for watch change. All our things are closed. Yeah. And we're on the plus jar. Cameras are right. Lights are right. Ready for the quick escape. Do you want to... We have seven meters left on this move. Do you want to set vehicles down or... No, we can keep moving. Keep it's moving. Benign and Roger, Robert. Thanks. Well, this was a really good watch. Brief Thank you all for joining us. Let's all do good. it. Here you go. See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, do a zero five zero next Roger. for our next step. I think I might have pulled you there. Yeah, and that's a wrap for Delta Dan and the Arachnophobe Band. We'll see you I next did. time. Sorry. Bridge now. <laughs> Two zero meters zero five zero. Roger, two zero meters, zero five zero. Coming up. I guess a little bit. Coming up a little bit. <laughs> Just a bit. Just a bit. Oh, he's got this dang 4K screwing me up again. <laughs> I got I got it. I got it. <laughs> Look, they don't touch those gains. <laughs> That's fine by me. <laughs> That's a good stick. Let's uh, sit down and look at it, and then I can reset your DVL. Yeah, go for it. Hey Steve, are we interested in a uh, C pens? Do you want C pens? Uh, I, I okay. It's got a cool starfish down at the base. Yep. Yeah. It's got a little brittle star. This one's Protoptylum, the type of C pen.
Okay, moving on. Oh, someone just commented aloha to the League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, Nav, could you zoom out a bit on the high back so we can see the waypoint three? Yep. Oh, over there. Um, yeah. So I think what we'll do here, we'll uh, this is. Uh, this features around waypoint two looks will most likely be pretty sedimented, and uh, I think we'll go north from here, uh, and then explore that steep area. You want to just go over here? Yeah, and then we'll maybe lateral along that to the Can northeast, I zoom in again, Dave? And, okay. then, and then go over to waypoint three. Okay. Yeah. Why are there like the contours kind of missing? Um. So there's some. Uh, questionable data right here okay and so it didn't resolve the contours I see yeah we've got some overlapping data sets looks um, like there's a patch right here that didn't get mapped as we were coming into our location but we'll likely fill this as we leave okay yeah neat so this is a but dead sponge spicule stalk, and it's got a tube anemone in it and some foraminiferins growing on it. Okay, carrying on. Yep, yep. let's move along. Do you want to go full north or just off a little bit? Uh, let's go f due north. Okay, cool. And um, we could maybe use a little bit, uh, you know, maybe half knot across this sedimented area. All right. Um, how far is it to here? Yeah, what kind of step is that? Yeah, let's do a 100 meter step, and then we can do our short steps after that. Was Sound that good, Bob? 100 meters, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all mud. All right. Where is the man, this guy? Long-legged shrimp. Ooh, long-legged shrimp. That's a big shrimp. one. Yeah, he's jumbo shrimp. Oh, someone said we're their favorite watch. Oh. Yay. <laughs> we win. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. Long-legged shrimp. Woo. I would say wow. so. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that telson. So the telson is that spine that's in the middle of the tail. You see it's like a yeah. yeah. lot longer that? than the, the side pieces. Yeah. That's definitely a character for what this species is but I would have to look it up um, in a key to know exactly which one it is. Uh, another character to look for with identifying shrimps is what kind of spines are on the rostrum, and the rostrum is the long spine that comes out between the eyes. This one doesn't seem to have any serrations on the rostrum, and it's a very long one. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up in a key to be able to tell what species this is, but it's a Nobana carcinus type of long-legged shrimp. And these legs are particularly long. They're very long. It's like extra long-legged shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> it's just got lots of long everything. Those antenna are long. Long rostrum, long telson. He's doing a plank. <laughs> no, that's cool it though. It looks like it has like little hairs on the ends of its feet. Yeah. For walking on the sediment. I feel like the legs are so thin. It they would are. break easily. But maybe there's nothing it can really break on. 
Yeah, in water, you don't have that same effect as gra on, of gravity on your body. <laughs> like half spider half yeah. it reminds me of the, the the guy from spirited away with all the arms yes <laughs> i'm gonna have a nightmare tonight <laughs> bless you <laughs> I feel like you should be able to say something when people cough too. Like, why do you only say something when someone sneezes? <laughs> because your heart stops briefly when you sneeze. Really? Yeah. That's why they say bless you. I thought it was because a little piece of your soul leaves when you <laughs> sneeze. So that's why you have to say bless you so it goes back inside. <laughs> Almost like I'm done. Both <laughs> of those things sound terrifying. Oh Let's hope it doesn't happen that way. Four I'm minutes into the watch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. The uh, previous watches went. They started at a depth of 2,800 meters. Came up to. Uh, we're now we're just a bit shallower than 2,400, but it started out very se heavily sedimented, and uh, rocks were very sparse. They they have collected three. Uh, we want more, and uh, with good you know good examples of crust, I think maybe an angular one for dating purposes, but. Uh, then they came across a really nice, uh, around 2,400 meters, uh, uh, a good diverse assemblage of corals and sponges on a steep wall, steep feature. So we are now transiting over uh, a local topographic high, and sediment covered, not steep. So we're going to proceed north. Uh, we're stepping northward to uh, get over this little topographic high and descend just a little bit back along a steep wall and then we'll lateral along that to the northeast and it looks like that could be a promising feature for more corals and sponges and so we can uh, pick Megan's brain on what we're looking <laughs> at. I can't wait. <laughs> that wall was absolutely amazing earlier. I was yeah. definitely like oh my goodness there's so many different kinds of bamboo corals here and that leafy um, sponge that we collected was really nice. What's going on with the sediment right there? Uh, That's weird. Yeah. It is weird. Maybe, the, well, let's see. It's like maybe the edge of a rock or something. Maybe. Can we touch it? <laughs> <coughs> you want to zoom in, Dave? Oh, it's like a scour mark. Ooh. Is that a beaked whale scour oh, mark? Oh, it would have been a lot bigger if it was uh, a whale. What else scours the ground? Um, some sharks will, will nest in mm. little patches, or fish will make little divots sometimes. We've seen lots of trails, but not too many scour marks like that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I totally saw it as like a bump and not yeah, a divot. The reverse, yeah. Con That's why I was like, oh, yeah. what's this whip long whippy thing? Mm. Long whippy thing. Long whippy thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, to the right. Yeah. Bamboo, or maybe? I, I don't. I mean, it's sediment, it? so it's probably not a bamboo. Maybe it's a sea pen that's like unbranched. Really? They get that big? I mean, wow. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll you see. You did, did say maybe. <laughs> wow. wow, that is really long. Like over 60 centimeters. Oh, yeah, wow. So bamboo you're going to see on a rock, right? So, and they, uh, Yeah, you'll well. see the bamboo is always on a rock. This is not a bamboo. No, you don't sure. see those joints. So what is it? Um, <laughs> yeah, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> uh, I think it's a sample. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay. A snip of the outside slurp. of the... What is this? I mean, I think it's, it's, it's got to be a sea pen. It's an unbranched huh. sea pen that is long and whip like wow it it's a sea pen we sampled it a we few dives ago oh, yep. okay oh. then we won't we won't collect it thanks steve uh, thanks all right Not thanks steve sample. i didn't see that one so. it is cool though it is it's cool. very long there was another sea pen below it uh, over on the right side 
I thought they were all like short feathers. You see it mm -hmm. lower? Uh, yeah. This? Yep, that's the one. What about this one, Steve? <laughs> Is this new too, or unusual? Um, this one, I think all the polyps are lined up, so it might be a panatula. I don't know if it's been sampled or not. I, I don't know either. <laughs> yep. That's a good view, though. Yeah, we'll just take a look at it, and if we see some more... Yeah. We'll we can grab another one later. What's this? That's a polychaete. Hmm. It's a little bristle worm. Carry on. Yep, let's carry on. All right. Our move is almost complete, so we're going to start cruising soon. Since we're seeing a lot of sediment, someone's wondering if there's ever any evidence of sediment avalanches or mudslides. Can it happen underwater? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, Especially you... on continental shelves, um, things called turbidity currents happen where a bunch of sediment comes down the shelf and forms a sort of delta. Yeah, they'll carve out submarine canyons. They'll in, uh, really? And leave a... Yeah, like a fan, a sea fan at the base uh, helps to form the continental rise. Has anyone ever got it on camera? Turbidity currents? I don't know. That prob I don't know if they've been filmed, but they recorded them on with current meters, and they're really fast. They're several knots. Sometimes they can be so big that you can get a tsunami. Hmm. A slump, yeah, a slump failure could cause a tsunami. Uh, Um, there was a, I guess it was like an earthquake that happened not too, a few years ago uh, where a slump happened off Molokai and we could feel it on Oahu. Oh, wow. So yeah, you definitely have, you know, rocks and avalanche type of occurrences on the sides of mountains, underwater mountains. Mm -hmm. Zoom in for the urchin. I'm in <laughs> They've uh, swept a lot of expensive uh, equipment, oceanographic equipment, down the floors of submarine canyons. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't a spitadiadema. It's a type of very long-spined sea urchin. They like kind of look like fireworks to me. <laughs> Little. Yeah. Urchin fireworks. That is cool. We're seeing a lot of long things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would Being those, long. Would those guide food down or protect? Um, they could. Pro they're probably more protective. Because yeah. they are feeding off the seafloor. Yep. Yeah, they just meander and eat things off the seafloor. Can they swim? I don't think so. But they could, maybe. I mean, <laughs> anything's possible. Tried. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I wouldn't, has not been a bet on it. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and is that another C pen? Yep, uh -huh. the same C pen that we zoomed in at the beginning of the watch. Yeah, probably want to catch up to yeah. our Getting crowded ahead. Bus. Take it off. <laughs> but it was neat to see a couple different kinds of sea pens all in the same area. 
that's always fun. Mm -hmm. Is that a fish? The shadow? It's not moving. It's probably a sea cucumber. It's our first cuke of the watch. Oh, is there it? it is. Yep, it's yeah. a cucumber. Oh, it's a sea it? pig. Oh, oh, what a weird looking thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the the trans would almost really get me. <laughs> Little feet. Yeah, look at its feet. There's no secrets with this thing. <laughs> wow. That's a good, that's a cool shot. Yep. Yeah, these ones will swim. I see why it's called a sea pig. It looks like he's got little stubby legs. <laughs> <laughs> little stubby legs. Hmm. It's making sand. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 saw that coming a mile away. <laughs> 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 it's fresh sediment. Fresh sediment. <clears throat> Carbon cycle. What a and show. it shows you exactly how it swims. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Disappearing Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. That way, the job here is done. <laughs> looks like that. <laughs> they actually moved like that. Sorry, <laughs> slope. That's no good. Bogus bearing. Really fine. We're not near any island or reef, so this is all biogenous sediment. It's rained down from above over millennia. Someone's wondering if you could tell how thick the sediment is. Or is there just no way to not really know unless you measure it? We'd yeah. have to take have a try to. a core. And even then, you might not get all of the sediment. Yeah. Right. It's uh, so fine that it's not going to stick very well. You want to zoom on that one? Yeah, this might be the same uh, long, thin sea pen that we looked at before. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Okay. Here you go. I'm curious to know what this species is called. Steve? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want to look at it or no? No, no, we're good. Oh, no. We've already seen one. Maybe a shorter step for the next, maybe, you know, 30 yeah, or 40 absolutely. or something like that. Yeah. <coughs> Intro. Go around. Bridge now. Can we make a 40 meter move north? Thanks. All right, well, we're a new watch, new night. <laughs> let's introduce ourselves. <laughs> new Seamount. <laughs> new Seamount. Um, let's do name, where you're from, what your role is, and I need it to a good topic. Favorite sea cucumber biological activity. Just your name and where you are and who you are. I can't think of a good thing. So hi, I'm Kelly Moran. I'm the Education Program Coordinator with the Ocean Exploration Trust. Um, out here, I am the Communications Lead. 
and I wave at the camera. I'm on channel three and I'm excited to be here. I don't have anything fun tonight. I didn't get a nap in, so. <laughs> Hi, I'm Opatrancio, watch lead. I'm from Arnold, Maryland, near Annapolis and uh, looking forward to some good finds on this unnamed, unexplored seamount. Hello, I'm Coralie Rodriguez. I'm sitting in the science seat and I'm a graduate student from the University of Rhode Island and I'm addicted to hot Cheetos. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good fact. Uh. Hi everyone, my name is Leilani Sublan. I'm from Guam. I'm sitting here as your data logger and this is my first time sailing with EV Nautilus and Ocean Exploration Trust. In the front row, this is Megan Putz, your navigator. I'm from the University of Hawaii, originally from Chicago, Illinois. And uh, I really like deep sea animals, <laughs> if you haven't found that out yet. <laughs> really? It's <laughs> <laughs> so surprising. Really? And I'm Robert Waters, sitting in the Hertz seat. Uh, I'm the OET facilities manager and ROV engineer in San Pedro, California. And uh, I guess I got a rescue dog. <laughs> My name is Jake Bonney. I'm in the Argus seat. And I recently adopted a cat with one eye. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. And she is the cutest. <laughs> Dave Robertson. I'm a video engineer. And uh, I'm totally impressed with Megan's encyclopedic, encyclopedic knowledge of uh, undersea animals. I mm -hmm. agree. Yeah. It's amazing Snaps. stuff. She blows my mind every once. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Well, I'm, thank uh, you guys. I'm from Seattle, Washington by way of Anchorage, Alaska. Dave, someone's in the chat, or in the um, Nautilus live chat, that is also from Alaska. And they say that they use avalanche airbags when they're snow uh, snow snowboarding, and that we should put them on all of our science gear underwater. So if anything happens to an avalanche, they can come back. <laughs> That's great. Shout out to Alaska. <laughs> oh, there's an umbalula. A what? A what? <laughs> it's another sea pen, a different sea pen. So sea pen kind number four. Umbalula. Yeah, I always remember it because it kind of looks zoom like an umbrella. Zoom yeah, we can do a quick zoom on it. That thing is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> so all the polyps are right at the top of this long stalk. And they all some have different number of polyps. Some have like three, some have one, some have five. I don't know enough about them to identify them or classify them based on number of polyps, but the genus is Umbalula. Umbalumba. That's a fun word to say. Yeah. Umbalumba. Ooh. What's inside? Like those black, grayish? That's it's like guts. Guts. Interesting. Pretty wild, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm good here. This is off topic to science, but Coralie, somebody is wondering if you've ever eaten hot Cheetos with nacho cheese. Um, Tilton again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. Especially the Tostitos, fake cheese. It says it's cheese, but who knows what it is. It's cheese food. <laughs> like, what is that? Cheese, cheese whip, whip, whip? What is that? Do you whiz. know what I'm talking about? Whiz. Cheese whiz. <laughs> cheese whiz. Cheese whiz. <laughs> Comes in a can. So for the uh, geological samples you're interested in, is this depth range? Uh, I mean, I guess you're pretty well covered in this depth range. Yeah, I am, but 
I'm just taking whatever taking I can it. get at this point. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're not gonna, I don't think we're gonna go above a thousand. Is there something sitting in the sediment top left? Up there? Yeah, yeah I see, I see it. Like it could be nothing or it could be something. Another Oomba Loomba. There's another Oomba Loomba. <laughs> he got it. Mm. Oompa Doompa. <laughs> Oompa Doompa. Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Those are the blue ones. The Oompa Loompas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, is this is fish? cool. It's a pile keelib. What? Uh -huh. Called Homerian Asper. Say that one more time. Whoa. <laughs> It's one more time from the back. <laughs> but Homerian asper. It is a type of arthropod, so it's a crustacean. Um, they're really weird looking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's a first for me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's is cool. it squishy or is it hard? It's hard. It's like it's like crab like, but it's not a crab. Yeah, it sort of looks like a horseshoe crab. Horseshoe crab, crab yeah. yeah. This one's got itself buried in the sediment. Mm -hmm. They kind of skitter along the bottom. Yeah, they usually just sit around, but they can swim. I've gotten some video of them swimming. They're not particularly good at it. Do they have eyes? Yep, they have little eyes. Do they come in different colors? No, they're always this pink color. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Do they eat the sediment too? Um, they probably eat like copepods and other small crustaceans and polychaetes. It's cute. I like this better than the worms. <laughs> Does that I still really like the worm. Does that tail go on for a little while or is it? Um, no, it's pretty short sure. and stumpy. Yeah. Yeah, you can look it up in the animal guide. It's under yeah. crustacean or arthropods other. So that's the whole thing there? Yeah, that's the whole thing. <laughs> there's like, there's little tail bits at the end, sort of looks a little bit like a shrunken lobster tail. So, but is that the full tail or is it yeah, more to it? There's not too much longer past sure. that point. Moving on. Yeah, yep, we're going to start uh, descending a little bit on a fairly steep area. What are they called again? Homerian asper. Bridge nav. Can we make a 20 meter move north? Thanks. That's a weird looking blob. Hmm. Go for blob? Go for blob. <laughs> <laughs> now, it might be a hermit crab with zoanthids on it back, but oh we can't God. see the hermit crab. I hope so. <laughs> All right, go for blob, Dave. <laughs> Blobbing. <laughs> yep, it is. Oh, right. It's wow. a hermit crab. It's a crab. Oh, it's so very funny. cool. This is the most stylish one I've seen. Oh my god, yeah. so yeah. stylish. Definite prize Super winner. Yeah. Yeah. Look at it. It's so symmetrical too. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, like the zoanthids come off in all sorts of crazy directions, but this one's like perfect. So that thing just stays on the crab forever? Or just yeah, until the crab so is like, I'm done with you? The, the, we did learn on NA135 that they will ditch their zoanthid if you try to pick them up with the suction sampler. <laughs> you wouldn't oh. want to ditch that. That's too nice. <laughs> yeah, it is nice. <laughs> but you know, to be fair, <laughs> it tried its best. Um, yeah, but the, the zoanthid will grow with the crab, and the crab's body just curls up inside that zoanthid, and it protects it. Well, so yeah. instead of having a shell, this has its own little coral. Yep, just carry so the there's teeth. no shell? No shell. Back. What? 
That's insane. I wonder if that feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does feel weird if you like touch it. Like something suctioning on your back forever. <laughs> well, they or are you crabs the have modified back legs to hold on to their shells. They're like really small and like hook-like. Oh. Someone's wondering what type of hermit crab is this? Uh, this is a pergurid. So it's a hermit crab in the family pergurid-y. Par Parapergurus. Carrying on? Yep. Carrying on. Cool a few comments crab. are saying it looks like a drone. <laughs> it looks like a drone. On top of a crab. Quad <laughs> So there's a question that came in, Emil, on um, if we find a new species, who gets to name it? Oh boy. Uh, I mean, it takes a few years, but if we, you know, it wouldn't be right away, but. Yeah, do you know the naming authority, Megan? Uh, um, usually whoever describes it gets to suggest a name the for it. The taxonomist. For the taxonomist who yeah. describes the animal. Not necessarily the people who find it. Yeah, yeah. And Sometimes the taxonomist will name the organism after someone in the field who's done a lot of work. Um, they can name it after some sort of feature that the animal might have that's distinctive, or even after the people who helped discover that animal yeah. and collect it. Or to honor somebody, yeah. Mm -hmm. who's, yeah. yeah. Or uh, like the Alvin Ellen's named after the submarine. Yeah. yeah. Or just pick a cool name like Umbalula. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the rules are defined in the International Code of Zoological Nomenclature, according to Steve. Another hmm. sea pig? It's another sea pig. <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> so this is either like a penny agony or an amperima. Do you want to see it? We, we just looked at one of these. <laughs> but do you want to make it do the thing again? <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> We've had enough of that for one watch. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> it will as we get close to it. Oh, no. It feels All a right. disturbance in, of the man. force. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look as full as the yeah, other one. Yeah, it's not as full as the last one. Thank God. It's, it's thinking about it, though. It like wants it? to go. It's again. going. It's like, I gotta get back in the air now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe. Okay, just it's like, like a horse like kind of rearing yeah, up. I it's was like your, say, it looks like a your horse. Charlie. Prepare for horn. takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it kind of has sand back there. Maybe it won't go. Maybe it has a really nice patch right here. They're actually firmer than you might think. They look like really, like, fragile. But some of the ones that have been collected, they're a lot more robust than I w had expected. Huh. You know, for being so see-through. Yeah. So does the stuff it's eating, does that like give it nutrients and stuff or is that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's organic matter in the uh, oh, sediment. It's doing it. Oh, no. oh, yeah, no. it's getting ready. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. Back away, back away. <laughs> wait for it. Do we have Here the move Bob on? Wants to oh, wait no. for it. Bob's watching it. Uh, our move is complete. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> pretty consistent. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That was a it's thick uh, piece. <laughs> it's adjusting its ballast. <laughs> yeah. Uh. It's a really complicated swimming motion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, carrying on. <laughs> <laughs> Go away, sea pig. <laughs> it looks like it has hair with the way it's velo mm -hmm. yeah. is. It's like mm -hmm. very fashionable. <laughs> so Argus is still swinging? Or uh, yeah, Argus yeah. is out in front of us right now. Oh.
So, yeah, we'll go. What's that dark patch? That looks a bit interesting. Oh, it's a tube anemone in an actual tube. <laughs> Very cool. So it's a cerianthid. That's really pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good size one, too. Nice. Yeah, the four to eight came across a nice, uh, another nice relicanthus. Mm -hmm. yeah. These legs are very cool. Yeah, they are very cool. Bridge nav. Can we make another twenty meter move north? Thanks. Yeah, we'll try to. Um, since it looks like a steep feature up ahead, we'll we'll want to be off the okay, wall. Okay, carrying on. Yeah allow Herc to get between us and the wall so that we Yeah, we definitely want to have yeah. at least 10 meters off the wall. But I'm not quite sure exactly where the wall is going to be, so right. we're just going to keep trucking. Oh, here's a good question for anyone that is working with some of our samples that we get. Um, someone's wondering if the biological samples change in color or shape when they get to the surface. Um, yeah, some of the corals do change color. Um, some of those yellow corals that we collected, especially the Acanthogorgia, they'll turn black. So we need to process those first because they start to oxidize mm. uh, when they get to the surface. And they'll go from that bright Stick. yellow color to a black color in the matter of minutes. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, so it's very important it's, to it's the preserve same, them same immediately. Thing. Yeah, that's the same C pen. Right. I'm good with this one. Very a lot of the corals will also produce a lot of mucus uh, upon recovery, especially the bamboo corals. So those are our next priority in uh, preserving because you don't want them to mucus everything and get them preserved quickly so that they stay very nice for identification purposes. A lot of black corals will start to slough their tissue um, as they get warm, so we always try to process those animals as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. So animals take uh, precedence over rocks when it comes to processing. Oh, mm. there's a cuskeel. Just popping by to say hey. What kind of cuskeel are you? I'm trying to see the side of its head, but it's not cooperating. I think this is a Bazazetus. Come in, Dave. Oh, can we get a porch light? Yep. We don't have a porch light. Bazazetus have small eyes on the sides of their heads. Kind of a rounded head. It's not being nice. There it is. <laughs> Super cooperative. Very cute. That was a good Curious. Yeah. opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you got to check out those fish while you can because they always swim away.
Lots of sediment. All right. Yeah, I thought we'd be seeing some Bridge outcrops nav. by now, but. Can we make a 20 meter move north? Thanks. Kind of looks like when you're flying in an airplane and you look down <laughs> at like random rivers. Yeah. Oh yeah, totally. It looks rice, like my notebook in high school, all the rice doodles. Farming. Yeah, <laughs> rice farm. Yeah. Is that a rock up ahead of Perk in the Argus view? Oh, I see it. Yeah, maybe. Rock. rock. I'm getting there. <laughs> oh, in the sonar? Uh, no, in the no, uh, Argus. Argus. Uh, I think it's, you can see it in the Argus sonar too. Yeah, yeah. That's Is this of interest? Oh, we yeah. just looked at that. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of those Aspidodiadema urchins. We want to go look at the rocks yeah. up there? Yeah, yep. let's go see if the there's rock. anything right. on it. Going up. See if there's any suitable samples. Yeah. Oh, there's a stocked crinoid. Crinoid. Zoom quick. Looks like a Bethycrinus. Um, there's something on it. Sometimes these crinoids have these little um, snails that live on them, and the snails feed off the crinoids pooped. Hmm. The yeah. snail's so tiny. Nothing goes to waste in the deep sea. Nope. It's crazy how strong like these stocked anything are when they have a tiny little spot on the rock. Mm -hmm. You know, you would think that. Yeah, that's what that is. See, see it's a little oh, snail. Yeah. And it has this like really long mouth part. And this one's not hungry now, right now apparently. Just sort of chilling. There's also these uh, polychaetes on them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Closing up. Yeah. Yeah, so the snail, when it's time to feed, will go down to the center of the crinoid. Um, huh. The crinoid's anus is right in the middle there, and it'll just hang out. Huh. Yeah. I think each one of the uh, arms has its own little polychaete. <laughs> so fashionable. Mm. And some smaller rocks to the right. Maybe one is grabbable. Mm. Okay, get on the uh, crinoid. Yeah, I'm good on the crinoid. Yeah. Someone says we have a tendency to call things cute. Have we ever seen something and called it ugly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sea spider. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I that worm? Yeah. The worm. The worm. I don't like yeah. that. Uh -huh. Megan does, but I don't. <laughs> oh, I saw this shrimp that had a parasite uh. on its underbelly Oops. and. Um, it had its own like little circulation system. It was a type of um, isopod. That that was pretty gross. It was <laughs> it was real creepy. Stuff of nightmares. <laughs> it's a cool feature. It's very tubular. Yes. 
doesn't take much to stir up the sediment. Here. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, it's, if we get side slope, that's bad. That's why I'm driving sideways. Mm. If you're driving along the slope, the thrusters real close to the bottom on the yeah. slope oh, side. Oh, yeah, just I see. It all looks pretty fixed. Yeah. yeah. Looks like a pillow, though. Mm -hmm. Well, there's an anthemastis, a mushroom coral on that rock up ahead. Nice one. Looks like a snow globe. It is pretty fucking <laughs> much stuff, though. Oh yeah. no. Watch out, shrimp. shrimp. <laughs> Shrimp's gonna try to swim. <laughs> so get me out of here. I love when they move their little pleopods. <laughs> They're just like, I'm swimming. I know, right? <laughs> <With your wiper. laughs> Clear the sediment. I love when I like lean or turn my head like I'll see you better on the screen. <laughs> I do it when I play video games too. I'm like... <laughs> That's one of the questions to be addressed in seafloor mining. If they're, you know, they're, when they bring up the slurry from the seafloor and then send sediment back down, at what level do they let it out? And where's that plume gonna go? Yeah. It goes really high up. Yeah, I'm sure. It go up to like a kilom kilometer. Really? Yeah, and that was from a study in like the 80s. <laughs> wow. Well, and it stays suspended for it, so yeah, long. Yeah, it does. So it could basically suffocate any animals that are in the area. Yikes. So and it's a huge area that they're planning to add Mine. sediment to, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the least areas for the nodules? Yeah. yeah. So we're looking the for a rock to ground? ground? Well, yeah, yeah, I think this is all too attached. Yeah. 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 Can yeah. we zoom that bamboo real quick? Curious to see if all the polyps are on one side or not. So if all the polyps are on the one side, um, it could be a bathygorgia. That's a type of unbranched bamboo coral. Tends to be pretty fleshy looking. Zoom in, Dave. Pretty messy area here. Yeah. Convinced it's a bathogorgia. It could be. It's got really long uh, little sp spines on the polyps. Those scler sclerites, that's what those are called. I'm good with this. Thanks. So I think at this depth, it looks like we're starting to see some rocks. So maybe we can uh, lateral the ship, you know, move the ship east northeast along this contour. Okay. And then her could set up, you know, facing the slope. Maybe the thrusters will be away from the seafloor. I don't know how steep it is, uh, or how easy that will be to do. I mean, the map says it's steep, yeah. but we're not really seeing that visually. What we're seeing are rocks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're starting to see a couple rocks, but yeah. nothing like a wall, vertical I wall. See some uh, off to the right, but. Uh, all right, well, how about a zero six zero move? Yeah, that looks good. All right. Bridge now. Can we do a 20 meter move, zero six zero? Are you able to lead the way Thanks. to zero six zero some extent, Bob, or are you gonna wait for Argus to? Uh, I need to uh, see which way the slope is here. Yeah. So 
someone's wondering if there's any naturally strong currents at this depth. Uh, they can be. It depends. So these uh, internal waves that I talk about just about every watch are uh, <laughs> they're generated at certain. Th it's like the Goldilocks and the Three Bears. There's certain slopes that are just right for mm -hmm. the generation of these internal waves. It's called the critical angle. And in the deep ocean, it's about a two degree slope uh, where you get pretty intense bottom currents. Kind of like a bore. Yeah. Uh, turbulent bore moving across the bottom. Is that a tripod fish? Um, could be. It. I don't know. Uh, it looks like the fins are out to the sides, so it might be a different kind of fish. Hmm. But at this depth, we don't have any strong, steady currents. Yeah. Like that yeah, occur. Man, they're here. Name. Is it dead? Nope. I think it's um, just grumpy. <laughs> so this is this is a cousin to the tripod fish. Um, it's a it's a blind version. So this one doesn't have any eyes. Oh. This is Bathy Tiflops Marianne. Yeah. So it's a blind lizard fish. Cool scale oh. pattern. Yeah, yeah, very similar to the tripod fish. Yep. They are related. Bathroom but tile material. Yeah, yep. bathroom tile. So Perfect. it just doesn't have eyes at all. Like you can't even see. It looks like he's got a spot Any there. eye sockets. Yeah, it looks like uh, maybe a vestigial. Yeah, they might have eye. little vestigial eyes, but yeah, they don't have eyes. Hmm. Mm. Must be very sensitive to emotion. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> yep. They they're definitely sensing vibrations with their lateral line and using other senses to um, hunt in the deep. They're also ambush predators, like the, um, oh. Ooh, oh. oh, yeah, there he goes. Oh. Hi. Oh, oh just, oh. just <laughs> adjusting <laughs> for a better view. I think they do that so that their lateral line is facing us. Mm. Interesting. So that's just me hmm. guessing. Yeah. It senses us. I feel like, because we've seen a lot of these fish do that. When we come up to them, they, they like they turn. turn. Hmm. Parallel. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's kind of giving a weird smile, smirk, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, they got big mouths. I'm sensing you. Yeah. <laughs> but that's really advantageous in the deep sea when you don't know a meal is going to come by. If you have a big mouth, you can eat bigger stuff. Yeah. That way, you don't have to eat so often. Hmm. Hey, carrying on. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. great zoom. That yeah. was good. That was good. It's a new fish for us. I don't think we've seen one of these yet. So they're related to the um, Bathysaurus, which I think the previous watches saw. That's that white lizard fish. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, Mal and I. Thank you for watching. Uh, she'll be coming out on the next cruise as a science communication fellow. She's from Hawaii. All right. Ooh, nice. You'll be sitting in the seat soon. <laughs> For the Lilia Kalani Ridge yep. exploration. Big geos up there. But well, this is a tough question. Someone's wondering what is your absolute favorite creature that we've come across? Oh man. Ugh. On this trip or just I don't know, it doesn't say, so <laughs> I'm gonna say this trip. I Back. saw a grizzly bear in Yellowstone once, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was not this trip. I said this trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if it was I don't know, that one, that, that uh, chimera. The chimera, mm. yeah. That was I cool. Agree. That yeah, was I got to go one. with that weird um, gastropod thing. That was very cool. Yeah. yeah. Like, we still don't know what that still is. Still think right? about it. Oh, so I still weird. think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, think, I don't think we've gotten an idea on that. No, yeah, no one said anything. I'm like, come on, guys. Someone's got to have an ID for <laughs> this thing. I like the batfish. I hadn't oh, seen yeah. one before. Oh, that, that was yeah, cool. Yeah, those are pretty cute. Cucumber. Making more sediment.
then there is that really big sea cucumber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you love I do still look, I still look at pictures of that thing. <laughs> Every time I go into the photos, I'm like, look at this guy. <laughs> Or girl, I don't know. So <laughs> chunky. Just so chunky. <laughs> Giant Vlasic dill. <laughs> so big. Well, the thing is, like, it's got this sort of hour gelatinous layer, and so, like, it kind of, like, wavers in the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, ooh. It's just like everyone we see from now on, I just compare to that one. <laughs> and I'm like, the mother wasn't of all. as big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's like, I've seen a big cucumber. I'm like, uh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> How big was it? How big was it? <laughs> Let me show you a picture. <laughs> this guy couldn't even take off. <laughs> <laughs> he tried so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, when there's no competition for food, I guess you just yeah, eat keep all going. The food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if no one else was on the ship, I'd probably get the big <laughs> Eat two whole cakes just to myself. Science I mean, party of one. Yeah, you could have had one whole cake all to yourself probably today. There's still plenty. There's still extra cake. Oh, yeah. There's still cake there. left. There's still cake. There's still time. Yeah, there's still cake. Time for cake. Mm. It was someone's birthday today, everyone. So cake. that's why we had cake. Yeah, and it, it was, was also my wife's birthday. Oh, happy birthday happy to her! Birthday. Yeah. It's also my best friend's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> big day, big day. Yeah. It was my mom's birthday a few days ago. Oh, oh happy March. birthday. Mm -hmm. She's listening right now. Hi. Hi. Happy, happy belated birthday. Thanks oh, for telling Megan thing. that she needs to pay her bills. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, there's a, a tiny jellyfish. Jelly Lower left. Aww. Oh, look at it. It's, it's just moving so cute. fast. Um. All right, zoom down. It's Wait. Hmm. It's so small. It's so oh small. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> Come back. Aww. Bye. That's a tough zoom. Yeah, yeah. it's so small. It's so tiny. Can I reset your DVL? Yep. All right. Those are rocks. I don't like all this dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Keep oh, kicking it go. up. Yeah. Here it comes. Oh, oh, oh nice. Oh, oh boy. Whoa. That's cool. Like a little that is cool. Little. Oh wow. Look Shrimp. at it. Oh, oh, good zoom. It's swimming motions. Do what? you know what it is, Megan? What? Like what kind of jellyfish? Why is it doing that spaceship? So right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty spaceship-like. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that's adorable. US wow. so Just about 10 centimeters. We go with that laser? Yep. Come back. Look at it. Mm. Trying to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. If I could get us an idea. Time, time to heave. Time to heave. That is a. Oh. Nice Megan's getting us an ID, everyone. Yeah. Don't worry. I gotta, gotta send it to She's my expert. She's working. Wow. That's gonna really give us a good idea. Look ID. at it. It was. Oh. I think it dusted out. Oh here. boy. Yeah. Nice oh, looks though. like it's conducting. That is the such a cool shot, though. <laughs> yeah. oh. Such a cool shot, yeah. though. All right. Even with the dust behind it, yeah. I like it. Like the, adds to it. In the background, it's yeah. all right. <laughs> it's like a movie star. <laughs> Order your Zoom in Dave T-shirt now. <laughs> Bye. I spent six weeks out. Uh, <laughs> on a mission, zooming in on jellyfish. Really? Lots and oh. lots and lots wow. of experience. Was that the midwater column? Yes. <laughs> so yeah. Your weeks. favorite expedition. <laughs> with favorite uh, with Megan's uh, colleague, Tiffany, the uh, jelly expert. Wow. You had mentioned the Zoom In Dave t-shirt. Somebody commented earlier that they, they wanted a go for blob. <laughs> 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 All right, so. I'm going to godaddy.com right now. Confirm. <laughs> Goforblob.com. Go 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 <laughs> Just make some t-shirts. Yep. yep. It look, 
Okay, we're still doing that zero six zero step. Yep. Yeah, we can make a new one. Yeah, let's keep trucking. Bridge nav. Can we make a forty meter move zero six zero? I see some more dark spots yeah. in the Argus. Yeah. We must talk about it a lot because somebody's commenting and I feel like it happens every night we have a dive. Somebody's asking for updates on the Oreos. <laughs> 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 they still haven't come out. Yeah, yeah, I would also like an update on the Oreos. <laughs> we did get candy bars uh, two nights ago, but they weren't Oreos. So. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> I ate the whole thing. I took a shower, I got into bed, and I ate the whole candy bar. <laughs> There's still one, one for the Butterfingers. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Somebody yeah. had it? Yep. Yeah. I couldn't resist <laughs> the temptation. I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did. I had two, a Twix. Two watches. Uh, I didn't, yeah. like, ask for those huge Butterfingers. One of them other. ended up over here. <laughs> you have one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, in uh, the basket. Ooh. The nav basket. The nav yeah, I asked. basket. <laughs> uh, I asked Josh to get me some, and he just bought like these massive things. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more like yeah. the bite size, yeah. you know? <laughs> Let's see. Came back with the king size. <laughs> <laughs> Always king. My driveway is so long. This is so off topic. My driveway is so long, you can't see our house from the road. So for Halloween, because we never really get any trick-or-treaters, we always buy king-size candy bars because if one kid is going to trek a mile down <laughs> my driveway, he, des he or she deserves you a king-size candy bar. <laughs> we usually only get like three kids and they're my neighbors, but <laughs> so then we have a whole box of king-size candy bars to myself. Win-win. <laughs> win. Yep. What's this? The, uh, That's the Umbalula. Umbalula. And the uh, Spitadiadema. Spitadiadema. <laughs> That's a Let's cool just name. copy everything Megan says. <laughs> um, the Lula. After me. You gotta right. put your own flair on it. It's alliteration. Spit mm -hmm. a diadema. To the max. I thought we were going to come to a wall. I <laughs> thought we were going to come to a wall. <laughs> I mean... It's high slope here. It well says it's slopey, but I'm... Pretty heavily sedimented. Yeah. But we did, we're just going to probably have to be content with these little rocky outcroppings for now. Maybe we can uh, break away, scoot over to waypoint three. Okay. To the north, northeast there, yeah. How will you end up resolving this uh, lack of contours? Like when when will you guys map these? Um, things? we might map as we leave the station to our next station to cover those gaps. Okay. Can you not map while we're diving? No, no. we can't map while we're diving because then we wouldn't be able to hear the beacons on the vehicles. Uh. Actually, while we were in the Galapagos, we did some very high resolution mapping using HERC. It was a special laser system set up to do centimeter scale mapping. Oh really my gosh. Oh, that was almost, you know, I don't, I'm sure that mid, six weeks of mid water was tough, Dave, but <laughs> so were like the uh, 10 hours of, <laughs> it was very tedious back and forth on this small grid with the laser. What was the altitude? Oh. A meter or so? It was really close to the oh. seafloor. Oh. Clara, Clara Smart was doing that work hmm. with Chris. I think it's Chris Roman's lab. Yeah, it was at the time. That sounds really intense. It does. But no multi beam. Dave, I'm not sure if this is you, but somebody is wondering, and if this is true, I'm very curious about your life. Um, they go, is this Dave from Anchorage, the same one that raised an octopus in Anchorage for a documentary? Nope, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds cool. Though. Yeah, I'm like, if this was you, I need a background story here. I, like, oh, I, I love octopus, they're great. Uh, but nope, didn't, didn't raise an octopus. <laughs> great. There's another fish. 
Is that a tripod or is it blind? Or is it neither? Go for zoom. Find out. Yeah, go for zoom. I think it might be a tripod fish this time. It looks time like though. a little above looks the ground. It's a little small. There's a shadow. Yeah, yeah, there's a shadow. All right. Maybe get tugged a bit. All right. Ooh. Yep. Yep. There's that tripod. Eyebrows up. <laughs> <laughs> I like how majestic these look. I know. Don't they look majestic? Someone says that this watch has given them so many new animals to look up. Oh, I'm, I'm same. glad. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, yeah we're same. on the same boat here. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, we're on the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> Still. Still. <laughs> week three. <laughs> Is it already week three? Yeah. yeah. Today's Monday. We oh left on a gosh. Monday. We'll be yeah. transiting back to Hawaii. Tomorrow, a week from tomorrow. Well, Tuesday? no, we're leaving. We're transiting back this coming weekend, this, but yes, a week right. from tomorrow we'll be in port. Okay. Oh, that's I was like, a week from tomorrow, no, I thought no. we're supposed to be back. <laughs> no. I, I gotta change my flight. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a good weather window here. We'll get looking forward to one, you know, this, the rest of this dive plus a dive on another seamount uh, north of here, seamount D. Great. And maybe a second dive on that one, but that would be that the weather window is starting to close. Yeah. Mm. I don't like those words. <laughs> the weather window closing. <laughs> I mean, the window is like really beautiful right now. We've got hardly any wind. Yeah. Hardly any current. The only downfall is that it's been raining all day and cloudy. Yeah. I wish it was a little bit less gloomy. You yeah. could hear the raindrops from our cabin. I know. It's like pouring down. It was pouring so at some point. Hard. But, but it's the nice water is really nice. Yeah, it is cleaning everything. Yeah. Get get that bird stuff right off. <laughs> <laughs> um, Megan, someone is wondering how do you remember all of this? Do you have a photographic memory, or do you just study a lot? Um, well, I looked at look at a lot of animals <laughs> a lot of the time. <laughs> so I I also helped develop the animal guides that are available online. So helping to make a guide also kind of puts the guide in your brain. That's true. Yeah. Plus you watch videos uh, as part of your job where, yeah. you're, uh, where you're annotating other people's videos, including ours. Exactly. Yeah. So coming up soon, I'll end up watching, re watching this whole video and mm -hmm. annotating it, counting all the different animals. So these fishes, all the corals and sponges, so that definitely helps solidify these identifications in my mind. It's also really weird to listen to your own voice talk about things <laughs> <laughs> all day long. Just keep in mind that when you're annotating this video or these last few videos that you're going to want to have Oreos nearby. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to like definitely have that on my list to bring to the office. Straight to Costco, Just case Oreos. Of Oreos. <laughs> I can do that with electronics components, actually. I know a lot of part numbers mm -hmm. by heart. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, you order them enough time, yeah. and you have to look at them, you're like, yep, this is the thing I need. Can I zoom out on the high pack? So can you, like, look at a wrench and know exactly what size it is without having to good, look at yeah. the, uh, the numbers on it? Yeah. You're like, yep. Can you tell if it's metric or English? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, Nav, can we get a zoom out on high pack so I can see waypoint four? Yep. Due north of three, almost, or north northwest of three. Yeah. Okay. Oops. I have a head full of model numbers of television equipment. Yeah, <laughs> all these things here in front of me all have model numbers, and I know them all. Yeah, and I know I know model numbers for equipment that haven't been uh, state of the art in 20 years. Yeah, and I have that stuff stuck in my head. <laughs> I know all the types of Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> right on. And like my head's just full of pictures of my dog. <laughs> right now, I want to know. 
Oh, she didn't hear you, Jake. Oh, sorry. What did you say? Oh, I didn't say anything. It's okay. <laughs> there's he asked a, about the breakdown. <laughs> okay, so there's regular cheese Cheetos. <laughs> there's hot Cheetos. There's hot Cheetos Limon. There's hot Cheetos Cool Ranch. And then there's Cheetos Jalapeno. What's your favorite? Hot Cheetos Limon. Okay. Next one would be Hot Cheetos. And behind that, regular Cheetos. Hot Cheetos Cool Ranch and Hot Cheetos Jalapeno are... I don't really like them that much. <laughs> I tried those for the first time the other day, the the jalapeno ones. It was They're interesting. <laughs> interesting, yeah. Some people really like them. Yeah. I am not one of those people. Fair. I'm always surprised when I go in and see all those different kinds of Cheetos, and there's no regular ones, and you say, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Bob. I'm a purist when it yeah. comes to Cheetos. Just crunchy cheese. <laughs> That's all I need. When I was a kid, I used to make bologna sandwiches and put hot Cheeto chips in my sandwich. Oh. So I'd have that so good. crunchy component. Oh, mm. that sounds good right now. Megan, someone's wondering if you have some type of software to help annotate the videos, or do you just do it manually? Um, yeah, we have a software. Um, I'll talk about that. Whoa. Oh, never mind. That was a hellosaur. Um, so, so we so use nice. Mbari's um, video annotation system called VARS. So it was developed at Mbari, and uh, that's the Monterey Bay, Bay um, Research Institute. And uh, I think it's a really great program for video annotation. Uh, it allows me to annotate not only the animal names, but also the substrates that are in the area. So like, for example, this area would be considered sediment, but in areas that you have basalt rock, um, bedrock, boulders, cobbles, uh, while I annotate, I also annotate what these animals are seen upon, what they're associated with. Say there's a coral with uh, a sea star on it, that will get its own annotation. Um, and all of that information goes into a database and we can export that database and send those uh, data to the uh, deep sea coral database so that other scientists and researchers can use the data that we've collected from the video in their research. So if you're interested in studying bamboo corals and occurrences of bamboo corals across seamounts in the Pacific, that would be a great resource for your research. Yeah. Thanks. Coralie, someone said thanks to you that they just opened up a bag of hot Cheeto puffs. Uh, oh, I forgot. There's hot Cheeto puffs. There's hot, oh. there's hot fries. There's hot Cheeto hot fries. Um, and there's hot Cheeto popcorn. What? Popcorn? What? The popcorn? Okay, I'm okay. I'm changing. It's <laughs> limon. Hot, like hot Cheetos limon, hot Cheetos, hot Cheeto popcorn. Okay. Honestly, hot Cheeto popcorn might even be above regular hot Cheetos. Wow. It's very good, especially if you like popcorn. Look at the cucumber. This one's big. This, yeah, <laughs> this is a nice big one. Yeah. I believe this is it's a like benthodites. 30, 30, 40 centimeters. Yeah, it is pretty. L I think this one's bigger than your other one. What? Might no be. Way. It's longer. longer. It might not be as, as fat. Yeah. The other one's chunkier, Ooh, but this chunky. one's long. Zoom in, Dave. Is that whole trail <laughs> made by that cucumber? Um, probably not. Oh. Whoa, what it's a weird really pretty color. Yeah. yeah, it's like a deep purple. And is that a polykey on what, like? Yeah, up near the, the top. one of those projections. That yeah, that's yeah. a polykey. Wait, which where? That, that little light colored. Dot. Okay, this. Oop. <laughs> this. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Looks like it has horns. Yeah, kind of like a dragon. Yeah. yeah, like scaly. Underwater dragon. <laughs> Instead of breathing fire, it <laughs> spits out sand. <laughs> <laughs> Very clean sand. All okay. right, good zoom. For our viewer wondering how deep Hercules is, it's around 2,377 meters, I think. Mm -hmm. 
So, pretty deep. And for one meter, it's three feet if you don't do depth in meters. Yeah, so in feet, it's 7,840 feet. It's very deep. That is very deep. It's a lot of quarrelies. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> So someone says that they read somewhere that the ocean floor is just layers and layers of marine snow. Uh, they're wondering what's under them. <laughs> under like the under all of this sediment, snow. like what? Rocks. Basalt. Yeah. Rocks, basalt. <laughs> ocean Volcanic crust. rocks. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> we're going to get, we're gonna get all, that, all that stuff behind us is going to catch up in a right, second. A quick zoom. <laughs> On the weird white thing. Oh, it's in, in, in. Yeah, hurry up. Oh, what is it? Oh, that's it's a really sponge. weird sponge. Oh, Here it comes. I want it. <laughs> all right, let's hang out here. I want to pick this up. Okay. Look what at, about look it? Look at all the weird holes all over it. And it's got these like crazy spicules going all sorts of crazy directions. Yeah. Is the ship still moving? No, the ship is not moving. Is that an anemone near uh, it? That's a tube anemone, yeah. Tube anemone. Have like you seen this sponge before? No. <laughs> yeah, its holes are really big. Yeah, it's got like all these like evenly, the it's like polka dotted with holes. Do you want the whole thing? Yeah, I want the whole thing. <laughs> She's very excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> How do we sample that? I don't know. Um, I think the best thing would be like, Scoop. To pick it up, so like, take the the claws, <laughs> scoop it from underneath, and pick it up. How about a scoop? Too much sediment. Um, I it's hate got scoops. A bunch, yeah, <laughs> the scoop. So the spicules are gonna go down to the sediment. They're oh, like little roots. Yeah. So if you just like kind of pluck it, pluck it up. But you don't know the consistency of this guy. Though. This is gonna oh, be warm. soft, I think. Hmm. It should so be. If you soft. go from the bottom, maybe. Yeah, go from the bottom and just kind of like. Scoop it with the jaw. The Argus is still swinging a bit. Is and it? I'm about four or five meters off the bottom. If, right. we, if we want to stay, we're going to have to step back. Okay, I think. we can move back. Bridge now. Yeah, uh, looks like I may not be able to stay here. Can we move 15 meters, 180? Might want to drop a target on that. and. Thanks. We'll come back to it. Yeah, we're we're gonna stir up all the dirt here. We're getting yanked around. Yeah. Ah. Yep. Yet the spot marks. Yeah. Megan, while we're uh, waiting and going back to this after. Um, someone's wondering if sea cucumbers have eyes. No, no, they don't have eyes. Oh. And do they have any predators? Um, not that I can think of. Uh, they're not particularly tasty, so not a lot of things want, would want to eat them. Uh, they could possibly have some parasites, like in their gut. Um, there are some sea urchins that had like clams living in their guts. Hmm. That was kind of weird. For reef sea cucumbers, don't the pearl fish live inside the... Yeah, the shallow nasa? water. Oh, yeah, the pearl fish look inside their butts. Yeah. Oh. That's weird. But um, deep sea pearl fish don't live inside sea cucumber butts. <laughs> oh, so there are deep sea pearl fish. Zoom in on this thing. Is that a sea pig again or is it... Yeah, it's a different yeah. sea cucumber. And then an urchin. And an urchin. 
saw that urchin we've been seeing? Yeah, it's the same as spitted diadema, and that's a cinelactid sea cucumber. So a sea cucumber in the family Cinelactidae. Oh boy. Oops. Well, there it goes. Goodbye. Right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like a grub. <laughs> The urchin's moving. Yeah, it kind of is floating now. <laughs> I told you it could swim. <laughs> or is it just falling with style? <laughs> <laughs> Me. The trails that look more white, you, are those fresher? I would think so. So the, the wider the sediment is, that indicates the more bioturbated it is. So how animals churning up the sediment. So far, I'm not seeing a match to that sponge in the guide. Yeah, no, it's definitely not in the guide. Yeah, that sponge is really interesting. A lot of spicules sticking out. Yeah, yeah, it's like going all sorts of crazy directions and the even hole spacing. Yeah. And the fact that it was rooted in the sediment. Like I've seen ones that are like kind of UFO pancake shaped. Um, I think one of my favorite ones, it looked like an onion ring. It was like about dinner plate size. And it was really, really thin. And the manipulator operator just, I don't know, who magically picked this thing up without breaking it and we got it back in one whole piece. And it was like about the thickness of a piece of thick paper. It was quite cool. So if you were wondering about uh, the lines on the seafloor, and they are made by creatures, not the current. Uh, so when the current waves are, look a little bit different on the seafloor, these are from mostly sea cucumbers, but maybe some other creatures too. Yeah, these are the tracks rather than the ripples. Yeah. Yep. Sand ripples. Megan, someone's wondering, or Emil, because you, you're looking at it too, um, are you using the Okeanos benthic guide or Ambaris? I am using the Okeanos guide at present. Yeah, the Okeanos guide has images um, from places across the Central Pacific, whereas the Ambari guide is more local to ca the California coast. Mm -hmm. And the animals that we see are very different from what they've recorded over on the continental shelf over there. So uh, Okeanos has come down to Kingman and Palmyra, so there are images in the guide from this area, which can be very helpful. Is there a guide for Atlantic animals? Um, shortly, yeah. I've worked on putting together uh, some Atlantic guide images from the 1905 expedition um, that I was on with the Okeanos. So those images should be posted relatively soon. You might not know the answer to this, but someone's wondering what is the oldest sea cucumber documented? Is there any way to know that? Uh, I don't think there's a way to date sea cucumbers. Uh, they don't really have persistent hard parts that we can use to figure out how old they are. So on, like, like corals, their skeleton can be used to date the age of the coral. Uh, and we have the same pro problem with sponges. There is no um, hard part, part of the skeleton that is datable. So sponges are made, their skeletons made out of glass, mm -hmm. which isn't something that has uh, like carbon in it. So we can't radiocarbon date it.
Argus is being very uncooperative. It is yes. being uncooperative, like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm yanking on it. It still yeah. wants to go its merry way. It's not <laughs> Think We're doing half knot moves, right? So I probably yeah. have quite quite a bit of think forward a swing on it when we when we stopped. But does not want to come back. Again, someone's wondering if there's Nautilus pictures in the Okeanos dive. I'm an Okeanos guide. Um, no, uh, the Okeanos guide just has Okeanos imagery but I'm working on putting together an integrated guide that will have Okeanos imagery, um, Nautilus imagery, Pearl imagery, and Falcor imagery. Wow. Hmm. You're working on like 50 guides. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, they're all like the same guide and they all have their own spreadsheet and I'm gonna kind of smush them together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Still and, though. <laughs> yeah, and there's a little, little program that we have. All you have to do is push a button and it generates the slide images, so we don't have to like manually put them together anymore. Might want to try another, like ten meter move. All right. Yeah. Bridge now. Can we make a ten meter move one eight zero? Thanks. So just say it's a glass sponge for starters? Yeah, it's definitely glass sponge. I'm not sure what family it's in. Um, the way the spicules are, uh, this is a question for Chris Kelly. He might have some idea, mm -hmm. but I think he'd get really excited about this potential sponge. I almost didn't even see it. It was so like, <laughs> What's that weird fuzzy thing over there? Not real big either. I didn't think it was going to be something interesting either, so. What's Argus doing? Like, why is it moving uh, to the east? It's going to do a swing. And it's going to just come back. circle? Yeah. All right. I think it's a science article not, uh, this year or last, maybe, about uh, the interest on the part of structural engineers looking at the glass sponges. Structural engineers looking at glass sponges. To uh, understand how they're, they're somewhat flexible but strong and uh, could lead to better buildings or bridges. Interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. Nature figures some things out over time and bio-inspired engineering. Yeah. What's the distance from uh, Herc to that sponge target? It's like 10 meters, 15, 12 meters, 12 meters. Yep. Argus is starting to come back slowly.
someone's wondering how big can a sponge grow to? Really, really big. Um, one of the largest ones that we've ever seen was about the size of a minivan. So two to three times larger than Hercules. It was massive. Yeah. Yeah. Subtle flux. And we had never seen that sponge before. It was a brand new sponge, had never been described. Wow. And that was up in the Papahanao Mokuakea Marine National Monument. The size of a minivan? That's crazy. Yeah, it's nuts. Like, if you Google minivan sponge, a picture of it comes up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's doing it. On She's it. on it. It's hard to tell when there's, like, not anything. Wow, that's a weird-looking sponge. Yeah, it does look really strange, though. Yeah, it's, like, it does it foldy, and yeah. it feels real weird. So, like, I touched the collected piece of it, and it's, like, the itchiest Christmas sweater. <laughs> <laughs> that's strange. It's a real weird, weird texture. It's, like, thick and, like, a little bit soft, but very scratchy. Can you date sponges? No. Unfortunately, we do not yet have a way to do that. Okay. <laughs> Mini pen sponge. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there is a picture on Google of SpongeBob minivan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at this article and it says this mysterious creature the size of a minivan could be one of the world's oldest living animals and I'm just wondering how would they know that if you can't date the sponge how is there another way you can figure out his age maybe like um, growth rate growth rates growth yeah. Rate, yeah if you can figure out growth rate by returning back to a site and seeing how much it's increased in size um, just the sheer size and the knowledge that we have of how slow these animals grow at these depths gives us a little bit of a sense of how old something might be mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, we can't know for sure exactly the age of that organism, but it's definitely one of the largest things ever observed from that depth. How's it looking? Do we need another step? Or? Argus is just uh, being kind of... Yeah, I'm kind of, I would worry that we would go right on by it. Yeah, yeah, we can we can say goodbye to Sponge. Maybe we'll no. see another one. Really? Thanks for trying. Well, we dedicated so much time to it. I know, <laughs> but like, Argus we've been is finally coming back. It's, it's like not though. It's like staying it's in the right. same spot <laughs> with you know twenty five meters. We meter only have to backwards. go a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe just, just one more. I just like, don't want to get jerked and make a big cloud. So yeah. yeah. Do you think you can make it back there right now, or just too far? Uh, I can probably go down. Well, like you're it. already down. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you're already down. Yeah. There's no rocks to bump into, though. It's right there. Yeah. yeah. I feel like if we made another move, Argus would just overshoot us. Yeah, but about a five meter mini move. Mini move, yeah. We can try another know. five. It's just delayed a bit. But well, it is kind of making some loop loops yeah, up there. Yeah, it's like doing something else. I wonder if we else. got a current. Yeah, it might be the current right there is picking up. Because it wasn't, we didn't have this delay on our way out. We were definitely like chugging ahead. Yeah, well I don't think, I mean we're going to have a little time even if you throw it in a move, right? Before yeah. it goes all the way past us. So. You got to wait. Give it, give it more. more. Give beans. it some beans. <laughs> <laughs> more beans. <laughs>
Full beans ahead. <laughs> Fridge now. Can we have a 10 meter move to zero zero? What else we got in the sediment? Yeah. There's all sorts of good stuff in the sediment. But we don't want to create a cloud. Yeah. At least not back where we're trying to head to. Yeah. No rocks. Nope. Very sandy. What do you think blooms around? So you think it's silica, uh, siliceous ooze down here? It could be siliceous ooze. <laughs> Like a little ball. There was like a little ball. What little ball? That oh. ball? No, oh, not that one. There was one. It, it's right behind the uh, arm. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> On the bottom? On the bottom. It was like a little fuzzy uh, ball. Nothing? This ball? Yeah. It's probably nothing. But. But you don't know. To I don't know. Zoom. It's it's round. It's very round. <coughs> Can you zoom in, Dave? <laughs> about asking a lot there. <laughs> <laughs> just a couple of centimeters. It's just an urchin. Five centimeters. I think it's a yeah. It's probably an urchin test. Maybe. It looks kind of. Not alive. <laughs> there are some like xenos that have ball forms. I don't know. It's round. It's, it's small. round. I don't want to really get too close here because uh, yeah, no we'll get it's yanked around and then make I just a big thought mess It might again. be something interesting to look at while we, we wait uh, for Argus to zigzag back our way. Come back, Argus. Well, he's trying. Yeah, it looks like there's some movement there. Okay, zoom out. Eh? Now we got to find it again. This is going to be the test of our USBL. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty darn accurate. Oh, well, the the Doppler track yeah. over that small an area is pretty good. Yeah. The DDL. I guess that's an advantage of a flat sedimented bottom. You've got good Doppler DVL navigation. Yeah. So we are on a different heading than we were going up, so. Don't want to spend too much more time. Maybe this is the final move, and if we can't get Argus over there, then yeah. Well, we're we're pretty much there. Okay. Just, I think we're in the look for it mode now. All right. 
Yeah. It should be popping up in front of us. I think it's like right there. Well, it wasn't it? It was this blob right there. That's where we were sat. Yeah. So, so we just need to get that blob on that blob <laughs> and then on that <laughs> course. Yeah, 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 get the blob. <laughs> get to the blob. Go for blob. <laughs> Still kind of getting yanked, though. Is that a fish? What's like that? Lower screen? It just Where? went off. It just uh, went oh. below us. No, not, not that. A different blob. Right. There was like a, <laughs> yes, right there. Uh, that little thing right there. Little thing. It's. We can't quite get there. Oh, Without I making see. a big oh, mess. Oh I don't want to make a mess. I think it's a halosaur. Is that that big cucumber we saw off in the distance? It might be. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That looks According like where our track my, was. Um, so. yeah. Dropped pin. Oh, we've passed it already. Right. It's probably. Whoops. This was. We were. That's the blob we made right there. Yeah. So it should be right ahead of us. Right ahead of us, <laughs> above that cucumber. Didn't do anything. Uh, those look like our skid marks. Yep, yep. <laughs> it's right there. Yep. I will gouge my hair. Put the go for zoom, Dave. Go for blob. <laughs> <laughs> go for blob. There it is. Blob in sight. Blob. Okay, what are Good you job. Ah. We found you. Okay, zoom out because I lost my reference here. Well, at least now we know we can find something less than four centimeters on the seafloor. <laughs> yeah, Doppler is pretty darn good. It's pretty cool. It's a nice test of technology. Yep. It's come a long way. And actually, this isn't the best Doppler. This is this is a 600 kilohertz, and there's a 1200 kilohertz one that's that's it's like, like double better. Like, yeah. Why don't we like, have the best one? Well, because that has less range. Oh. 1200 yeah. is is only good up to like 20 meters of altitude, oh. and oh. then it loses a lot. Yep. Higher frequencies, oh. attenuate. Yeah. Faster. There's a 300 kilohertz one that, you know, you can get way up off the yep. bottom. So if you're working walls, it's better to have the lower frequency ones. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Got to choose the best tool for the job. Yeah. All right. So we'll try to get a real good zoom before we sample. Yeah. Maybe we can see, is it open on the top? And I'll let Chris Kelly know how hard we worked for this. <laughs> yeah. It, I hope it's something brand new. I hope it stumps everyone. That would make my day. <laughs> Do the thing. Are we going to get Zoom? Zoom in, Dave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> zoom, zoom in, Dave. In, Dave. <laughs> Weird blob. Huh. So we're looking at its root. How do you want to go about picking this up? <laughs> I think just kind of... <laughs> the claws. Scoop it. Let's go to the grip force two. Okay, it's already on three. We'll go two. 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 And so the idea is to, you want to stop the jaw from moving. Yeah. You know, and so you want to get it so it's right at, the, like if you go past the trip point, it'll keep and squishing, lock it, right? It'll keep going, yeah. If it's yeah. Moving. So yep. you got to get it right on that balance point. Yep. So cradle it. <laughs> Very <Yep>. gently. <laughs> you want to zoom out? Ooh. 
Do you want me to give you a valve? Yeah, give me the valve. Valve. You got control of the Dave Zoom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's got all the power. I'm moving this. I don't like it up here. <laughs> you want to sit over here? No, I got it. All, all right. right. <laughs> oh. All right, Dave, can you zoom in there? So we're looking wow, down the top yeah. of it. Looks open. Yeah. 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 I like this method. Yeah. Definitely getting getting the root. Yeah. I feel like we're pulling out a weed or something. Yeah. <laughs> Very gentle. Nice work. Where is this going? Uh, we can place it in bio box, the Ford bio box A, if we want to get it in fast. Yeah, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. okay. What's on B? I think there's a B sponge in it on those Part two. I think it's when they collected the two rocks. Okay. This is, yeah, this is part two. I think there's a sponge on the starboard side that. I think there's floated a out. Yeah, oh. so just be careful opening it. On the starboard side? Yeah. Are we, are we going to try and put this on the starboard side? I don't think I'd make it no. to the starboard side. No, 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 no I meant no, the right, no, the starboard no. side. For, forward, forward, bio forward B. Box. Forward on the, the right. Oh, that's yeah. probably what that is. Oh, oh yes, okay. that's the sponge. I don't even want to rotate my jaws. <laughs> okay. The weird sponge that they found. Yeah. I think they wanted to leave one of the forward bio boxes open in case we see nodules. Uh, to collect and scoop them and put them in the forward box. Mm. Can we put it with another sponge? I'd rather not put it with another sponge. The only thing is then one of the sponges might be with nodules. Well, we haven't collected any nodules yet. Could we, we could get nodules in the starboard bio box, right? Well, I'm, would in it be, I don't know, it would be with a scoop. Yeah. I don't know. What? <laughs> you get which, a scoop to the which starboard is, side. Which is harder to put this in the starboard side or nodules uh, in the starboard this side? This because the thrusters uh, are gonna. Yeah, yeah this. We can, it up. I mean, we can disable the thruster on the starboard side when the box is open. But from now on, for the rest of the dive, you have to yeah. always like be set down and that thruster disabled, or that it'll blow out of there. Oh, yeah. I think right. Oops. 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 Yeah, uh, just put it. Gentle. So we'll want to put this in this. How about close your jaws right in now? In the other forward bio box. Then you can okay. grab those spicules. And we'll won't find fall. a way to get the nodules into there somewhere else. Sponge. That might save the day there. That. <laughs> so yeah, forward. Oh, oh no, sliding. sliding. Yep, I'm gonna have to re-grab it. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It took too long. Uh, yeah. Oh man. Okay, so we got to drive backwards and see if we can blow it out of there. Go. No. Well. <laughs> it like wants to. Uh, Come on. Get out of there. Can you get the suction down in there? Oh, there it goes. Yeah. No, this is good. Okay. This is good. Watch where it goes. There it is. Got eyes on it. Yeah. Well, well, I appreciate like the whole maybe we might see nodules thing. Um, we <laughs> don't know if we will, and it's unlikely. Uh, but the thing is, with the sponges, they're spicules. We don't want them to get intermingled. 
Oh, which I is see. why I want to keep them separate. Yeah, so we'll find somewhere else to put nodules if we come across them. All right. Yeah, it, I think it's soft, so you can give it a little bit of a squeeze. Okay. Where's it going? Forward A. Okay. Great right. shot. Yeah. Still looking good. Wanna get it in there before it <laughs> Wanna zoom out? Zoom out. Zoom out. Yeah. Okay, Just you ready for fast. tool tray? Yeah. Ready. Hope that coral stays in there. Okay, so the left B, side. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh no. forgot to switch them again. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Don't, don't break the box. Don't break the box. Don't break the box. <laughs> <laughs> one of them's already got a crack in it, so. Oh. Yeah. You may have to push that little other one back in. It's trying to escape. Uh, you want to go tool tray in a little? Yeah. Yeah, just maybe it'll fall over. Yeah. But, uh, oh. Oh. Uh, I think it needs assistance. Can we go back out? The leafy one is really fragile. Oh. Ooh. It sure is. Wait, <laughs> I'm going to close the box. All right. Can I go see the there. main sheet? Tumble forward. You know what? Um, try just breaking that piece so it's in two pieces. Then it won't float out again. Okay. Because I think it's stuck. And I can also make a note that both of these are prone to floaty. <laughs> prone to floaty. <laughs> they really want to just leave. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh. Hmm. Getting in close to that camera. Yeah, don't not poke the camera, whatever you do. I'll get back more. Did it snap? You know what, my grip force is still down, I don't know. Well, that's, that's a good thing, maybe. Okay. Well, I saw the bottom swing a bit, so it might have snapped. Yeah, I think it's in you there. You clipped it. I think I see a piece in your, th yeah. Got it. Now, better sink. I know. Sink. There it goes. Perfect. Just a tiny bit sticking up, but that'll fall once we close it, I think. Mm hmm Maybe. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, it's going, I think. Shoo-wee. Oh. Nicely done. Yeah. Dare I, I won't say. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not going to say it, but I think we all know. <laughs> <laughs> that was so last seam out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah. <laughs> it's just implied, though. <laughs> was that sample 69? <clears throat> yes. Not really implied, but assumed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, and someone wrote in all caps. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it. Legendary arm maneuver. <laughs> that needs Glad to be a t-shirt too. That needs to be a t-shirt, Dave. <laughs> Add that to the list. Mm -hmm. We're going to have so many t-shirts in our imaginary <laughs> store. Uh, I think Nautilus needs a store. Go for blob.com. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's get Number a little, bit, a little <laughs> bit of time to make up. Let's get going. Yep. That was a cool sponge, though, Megan. Yeah. It was pretty good. Yeah. I can do another one. <laughs> you can Jake. One more well. time. <laughs> Bonus sponge. All right. If you want to keep sitting over there, that's all right. Bridge, Nev. I'll do it. <laughs> Can we make a 50 meter move due north? Thanks. Well, that's a little blob. Look at that blob. <laughs> Which blob? blob? Her blob? That little, little <laughs> reddish blob that you're driving over. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's uh. another backup thing? Oh, no. Right there. Uh, oh. No. <laughs> so is all of this, like, marine snow looking stuff, is this from just Herc's thrusters, or is this like the normal amount of um, stuff A lot in the water? of it's from us, yeah. Go for blob. Yeah, when you sit on the bottom, you pick up junk in the frame, and then yeah. it's, it's kind of <laughs> bad to have to sit down, but you kind of have to to be stable. What is this? Is this a cup coral? It looks kind of orbish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we suction this? <laughs> really? Yeah. Why I not? think it's a cup coral. Don't we have a cup coral? Yeah, but this one's in sediment. It's doing something weird. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. Why does it look like that? It looks different. Yeah. We've got a little bit of time it with our move. It looks chubby. It doesn't look All like right. a cup. Jake, get it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Jake. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of far out there, huh? Oh, yeah. I don't think the hose can reach that far. No. no. Stand by. What jars do we have open? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Everything but one. Oh. See, we, we just need to section something. <laughs> I just did the um, thing again, Dave. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Um, and I went from starboard rail to the bucket cam. Okay. Are they usually not found in sediment? I've seen a couple in sediment, but I don't know if anybody's collected Sampled. one. Mm -hmm. um, and Steve was saying that a lot of the cup corals from these seamounts aren't very well known. You could just go for direct suction. Yeah. <laughs> just like right up in Drive there. it in. <laughs> Drive by suction. <laughs> I wonder if that would work. Yeah, it would. Yeah. <laughs> we did Flush it. Flush two. <laughs> Flush jar two. Oh, I went um. backwards. <laughs> Is that two? I can't read that. That's one. Yeah, it's two. Nah, he needed to put it out there. Yeah, I think it's just too small, too close to yeah. the bottom. Thank you. 
making it worse. So its tentacles are kind of closed inward, right, Megan? Or it's yeah, like... I, I don't know. It's not it looks like they just have real short ones. Hmm. Back up. Yeah, but I have to go a little bit. You were getting a little ambitious. <laughs> put, putting that, like, right lined up. With what? Oh, trying to line it up to see if we could oh, suction it yeah. without having to take the arm out. Sometimes these oh, couple curls you, like to get Did you stuck. start going the other way again already? You did. Uh, hmm. That's right. There it is. There it is. Nice. Cool. Oh, how cute. Could come wide, Dave. I thought you'd get a lot more sediment there. Yeah. Huh. That's really weird. I didn't know what to expect <laughs> it to look like, but I thought it was going to be longer. <laughs> uh, it's kind of oh. flat. Yeah, know. it's just sort of flat. <laughs> it's just sitting on top of the sediment then. Oh, that's really weird. I love how, it. How do you know it's a cup coral? Um, Because it looks like one. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so usually, usually you can see the septa, the like plates that are inside the skeleton, or that make up the skeleton. So it's inside the tissue. Okay. Yeah. And they have this sort of distinctive looking lumpiness to them. But I do admit they're hard to tell apart from some of the anemones that we might see. Full beans ahead. Which jar did that go to? Two. That one went two. into two. Cute. I think that's the same guy, right? Well, it's same Third time, time for sure. Yep. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> Argus is on an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Argus is like, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> There's another one of those polychelid. Homerian aspers, oh, an aspers. Cinelactic cucumber. You, you don't want to stop. We no, gotta no, let's going keep going. Here. Let's yeah. keep yeah. going. Where are the rocks? Going. Keep going. We're getting yanked about anyhow. We need to catch up. Yeah, I was a little greedy there. Got super excited about sponges and corals. Are we okay with the? Can we tell the angle of the cable? Or it's so deep, I guess that you're probably okay. I don't know. Oh, yeah. you mean because it's so dark back there? Well, yeah. I yeah, just it's all right. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. How fast are you going? Half knot. But we're not moving anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, I think a half knot is no problem at all. Great. You can see it in there if you look close. You can see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's still up and down. It would. The shadow would go the other way. Goforblob.com is available. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 
might cyber squat on that name. <laughs> <laughs> You can also get .org and .net. <laughs> All the ideas. Dave, so someone's wondering what is the purpose of the colored stripes on um, Herc's arm, like the different colored tapes? Yeah, uh, there's a white patch on there that we use for white balance. So basically, we we. Uh, zoom into that, tell the camera this is white, the camera balances itself up and makes it white. Uh, that, that color balances the camera. The red, green, and blue uh, are kind of a legacy. Uh, in, in the early days of, uh, of digital video, uh, sometimes video processing would uh, flip. Are you going north? Yeah. Okay. Would flip the red channel and the blue channel, and you wouldn't necessarily know it unless you looked at something in color and said, wait, wait a minute, mm. that's 180 degrees out of phase color-wise. Uh, it's sort of a legacy left over. It's just a, it's just a quick reference to, to look at, at colors. We don't use it too much anymore. Okay. Summing cukes, all about. That one was quick. Some more umbalulas. Umbalulas. Fridge now. Can we make a 50 meter move north? Thanks. We had a wall or some type of feature on a oh. sonar. Oh. Is there a wall? Hmm. Rocks, 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 rocks. Maybe Big I should. Big rock. I don't think it's a wall, but. Uh. No, you can see over this. Yeah. Rocks would be good. So you don't use the fancy flickery number pad thing? <laughs> that's just for looks. No, that's Kylie's thing. Yeah. She's very really into like that. You <laughs> can see her on the, on the screen when she's, when she's up in the van. She doesn't even look down. She's just <laughs> punching in numbers. I tried using it. I was slower. Really? Yep. You were slower using that than yep. the. <laughs> what exactly are you talking about? There's uh, just a number pad oh. for like a keyboard. Oh. Well, we have some viewers joining us from Australia and Canada and South Africa, Finland, Germany. Um, a few U.S. and the U.K. So thank you for joining us tonight or tomorrow morning, <laughs> whatever time zone you're in. I'd say Finland to Australia is a pretty good range. Yeah. Got the globe covered there. That's awesome. Another one of those urchins? Yep, the Aspidodiadema. Gesundheit. <laughs> <laughs> Pen. Oh, someone in East Tennessee. It is very late or early at your house. Yeah. That's 4 a.m. I see like a lot of times when Nautilus posts things, people comment, oh, I love like when I can't sleep, like looking up 
Yeah. Like watching the dives, which I actually think is kind of a cool thing to do because, yeah, my mom should probably do that. <laughs> she watches, like, Masterpiece Mystery. <laughs> Fall asleep you to look at any of this stuff? Uh, we can do a quick zoom. We zoom got time. Name? Sometimes I feel like I might get too excited watching this. I feel like, oh, what's that though? <laughs> Me too. Me too. I definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> Try to go to bed. Be looking up on the animal guides. What is this? That's cool. Another sea pen. So the darker line on the inside, is it just its inside? Like its that's, guts? Yeah, that's guts? its gut. All right. Uh, what's the other, Is other our stick rock thing? Within the what's that thing? It's a, a dead coral? Dead. It's a yeah. dead thing. Dead thing. Dead thing. All right. Hey, Lonnie, there's someone viewing from Guam. Hello, half a day. Good evening. Is that what good evening means? Half a day just means hello. Oh. Yeah. See at any time of the day. Mm. Ooh, let's look at that sponge. <laughs> <laughs> sponge. Sponge alert. Okay, zoom in. And a shrimp. Well, it's the same one as we collected, but this one's got friends. I think that's and the it's same, taller. huh? Taller. Yeah. It doesn't the have the spikes like the other one. <laughs> yeah, I don't see the yeah. spicules all over. Hey, what's that dark thing the in holes. the What's that hole in the ground in the back of it? You see that like dark oh, circle? Yeah, there's a there's a burrow right there. Whoa, very Ooh. perfect circle. There's it's a perfect circle. Yeah, that's kind of hmm. very interesting. Some sort of worm lives in there. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's yep. Uh, shrimp it looks inside. like there's some there's sort of spicule. worm inside there. Oh no. Worm or shrimp. Well, I guess it does have the spikes. I see them now. So you don't have oh, any yeah. idea what the sponge is? No. <laughs> no. Wow. Should it, we collect it? It might be, uh, we already have one. I know, uh, but this one has something inside of it. Yeah. A long worm. I'm uh, still so impressed by that tube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a really nice tube. It could be an echiurin tube. I want something to come out of it. Yeah. I Can we get the lasers on the sponge? Here. Yep. Oh wait, they're on. It's just out of frame. Yeah, if I knew we were gonna oh. see another one, I go. wouldn't have like. We <laughs> but well. you never know. Sometimes you never see another. That's thing. true. So do what do you think the sponge is? Oh, you don't know. So. I, I think it's in the family Euplectelidae. Um. That's all I got. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. it, because when when Jake picked it up, it was soft. Yeah. Um. So I think it's a Euplectelid. Hmm. It's like the shrimp is stopping by to visit its uh, the other shrimp. Yeah. Inmate. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a that's a polychaete. You think that's a worm? Huh? Yeah, I think so. It's hard to tell. You could, you're just kind of looking through the small little window in yeah. the sponge, but it could be a shrimp. Who knows? I'm just going off the going off the red. It just looks a little bristly. Can we like peer in that hole? <laughs> I might be able to look down the top. What? Let me just scoot forward and try I to. I don't know. I'm just so intrigued. It's a perfect circle. <laughs> oh, that's my other half tuning in from Guam. Oh. He just told me. Oh, it's I like might have just me. dusted it. <laughs> <laughs> What time is it in Guam? It is. I don't know. Yep. We're not going to be able to see anything Six PM. down in there. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah. The fork, we'll probably be able half. to see down it, but. 6 PM tomorrow. <laughs> it's okay. okay. Even the 4K doesn't see around corners. <laughs> Zoom around corners. That's okay. All right, well, Good. Come on. Let's move on. On 
to waypoint four. Actually, maybe we on, on the way to four, maybe we could go north and then northwest. Okay, like you want to go northwest? Yeah, first? right about there. Yeah. Okay, to this black contour? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Argus really wants to touch down this dive. <laughs> <laughs> Must touch the ground. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not like the last place it picked. Can we make a 50 oh, meter there's move the Argus, north? Argus dust yeah. from, from the heave. I mean, we're 10 meters up. How far is waypoint four from where we are? That's we a lot of lines. Are about two hundred and thirty meters away. I mean, how much ground have we covered since we started? <laughs> I feel like not much. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, um so well, we, we started yeah, we've yeah. gone up quite a ways. We started over here. Yeah. Okay. And so in a straight line, which we did not take, uh, <laughs> we've gone almost 400 meters. I'm intrigued at waypoint six. Look at that thing. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Looks interesting, yeah. Can we get there in, <laughs> can we get there in two hours? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> we might get to four in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> four. We're, we're not going to get all the way here. That, that's a long way. It just looks so cool. Yeah. Weird. Crinoid? No. Still trucking That's along. another Umbalula. Umbalula. Sea Pen Central in these sandy parts. Megan, someone's wondering what is the vertical change from here to the next waypoint? Um, so we're kind of at like very, very flat spot, but to the next waypoint, we've got one, two, three, four, 50 meters vertical change. Someone's watching in Colorado, and it's currently 2 a.m. Wow. Thanks for Dedicated. watching. Yeah. Have we seen any carnivorous sponges on any of the other watches, do you know? Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. That would be a cool thing to see. Yeah. You do sometimes see them rooted in the sediment around in areas like this one. Carnivorous sponges are called that. They're kind of like Venus flytraps in that small crustaceans might land on them and then they basically slowly dissolve them and consume them in the same way that a Venus flytrap does that to a fly. Hmm. 
Rock. A rock. rock. Let's <laughs> take a look at it. Yay. <laughs> Chunk of rock, too. Yeah. That's a good size one. Okay, let's take it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd take you forever to scrape off. <laughs> Just give me a couple of years. <laughs> a lot of sediment. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of cool, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pretty like, weird. It comes out of nowhere <laughs> and just stops. <laughs> What would make it stop like that? Like it's the leading edge of the the lava flow. The lava flow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, eventually it cools. Like it gets to a point and it cools. I'm sure there's some model for like how long lava oh, yeah. goes and cools and whatever viscosity and maybe there is no model for it. I don't know. Maybe someone should create it. <laughs> Sounds like a sounds like a master's thesis. <laughs> At least. Yeah. Don't see anything broken off down the bottom. No. no. Nothing growing either. No. Too no. dusty. Too yeah. dusty, not enough crusty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> so all this sediment buildup kind of implies that there's no real good current to support right. life mm -hmm. down How here. How tall is this thing? You know, know what also kind of sucks is that you need good bottom currents to uh, form feral manganese crust, but you also need good bottom currents. That's where like all the bio is. So it kind of makes you think, like, when you're thinking about mining, like, it would be, like, where you would want to mine, like, where ferromanganese crust is currently growing would be where all the good bio is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They've documented some bio growing on the nodules. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I read a paper on um, the Clarion Clipperton zone, and they did kind of a small study yeah. just on the bio in the area, and they found like so like a hundred new species really <laughs> yeah wow the artist view is cool impressive wow yeah are we, are we settled in what's happening yeah um we're not fully settled but we have stopped moving all right coming up <laughs> this ball just keeps going. Wow. I, I really think cool. this is going to be here. <laughs> so maybe you want to step back. Yeah, yeah it looks right. like it. Yeah, like look at the Argus out. view. That looks crazy. From Argus, it looks like it's an great. overhang. Yeah. That's right so now. cool. Wow. Fast, yep. Huge I wall. am jogging up, coming up. There's a bio. It's dark there. Yeah. We're going to have to get away from the wall, though. Yeah. There's another bio. A crinoid? Like, was this expected to be this? No. no. This is so big. This Look at even on Argus. That's this. so good. Oh. Like, yeah. even Argus is <laughs> you, though. The, the map did not see this <laughs> massive rock wall. That's crazy. <laughs> Whoa. Like, Argus's view is so cool. Like, it just stops. Like yeah, look at look at the uh, oh, bubble cam. Nice coral. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is flat. Oh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that was awesome. This looks like maybe there's rocks up here. That well, yeah, that was maybe. Awesome. Snagable, maybe. Now there's no nothing really in the. Uh, Bathy to suggest a steep slope like yeah, that. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, so how, that should how, how high did we just come up? Yeah. We came up Can a check long the, way. Check uh, <laughs> the graph. Well, I mean, you're 30 meters out the bottom. Right There's some corals. Yeah, there are some corals. Oh, yeah, 33 here. on the DBO. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. 
pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, big one behind it. Oh, yeah. Did you well, step back, Megan? Yeah, yeah, I went back 20 meters. Yeah, once we're comfortable, maybe we could uh, lateral along that. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh, That's my oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I am. Life. Let's drop a target here. Just note that it's a uh, something steep wall, corals. You can come up more. I think I'm a mic right to the left of you. Probably see you. Should we take a nisk in here? Well, we'll see. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe we've got a, a few corals. Have you taken any niskins? I think they took one. Yeah, okay. just one so far. Plus two. <laughs> yeah, are you comfortable? Are you still? Uh, what's the status of like the ship's move? Do we pull off the wall a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm backing yeah, up 20 gonna meters. Take, gonna take yeah, a while for all yeah. Argus needs to get like back from the ledge. Still hanging over. Are you comfortable doing a nisk in here? I'm gonna wait. Yeah. Yep. I can just fly. Yeah, that that was unexpected. <laughs> The, the map says it's supposed to be flat. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So, wow. you know, you just never know sometimes. Rack it back. It's hard with the vertical walls like this because they just, they read as no slope. Yeah. Which uh, Niskin are we doing? So the only Niskin that's taken is one, so we could do two, three, four, five, six, whichever one. Let's go with two, maybe? Zoom zoomed all the way out? Okay. That looked a bit more, I mean, it looked like an overhang rather than vertical. Pops. There you yep. go. Got it. Kidokes. That be a sparsely branching bamboo. It does look kind of oh. sparse. Oh boy! Hello. Did you touch the button? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might have. Not the button. <laughs> And what's that nice white? Is that a primnoid? Want to get a zoom there, Dave? Where the lasers are. Yeah, it's a big one. Wow. So what I'm looking for is, uh, is it branching nodally or internodally? Meaning, where are those little black bands originating from? in between branch ports or at the branch point. Um, I'm seeing them in between those branch points, so that'd be internodal. So this is uh, echnomyosis. Uh, there's a little chrysogorgia yeah. with its little squat lobster in the background there. It's really pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these corals can get quite large. And the uh, the skeleton can be oh, a little oh, bit oh, flexible. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, the arm's doing crazy things again. 
No, I am. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, that's a cool shot. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, get that one. Are you guys still camming it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Get that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. And there's this uh, brittle star in the branches. Get that one. Oh. Wait, how do you know it's not a snake star? Oh. Because brittle star stars tend to have more spikes along their arms, and they can't wrap their legs quite as coily as snake stars. I know. I'm bouncing around. My joy gain's all the way up. So this one is in the family Ophiocanthidae. And right where the skeleton is bare, you can e you can see those nodes and internodes even better. And the stuff that's growing on it are hydroids. Is part of it dead? Yep. Yeah, that can happen um, for a number of reasons, like if there's a predator that feeds on it or um, <laughs> it gets damaged and the, the tissue recedes. Maybe we could uh, back off the wall a little bit. That there's uh, some interesting things. Yep. Come on, Dave. A little bit lower. Just uh, below where I we're looking. I think I'm gonna try another 10 meters back. Yeah. Bridge good. nav. Can we move 10 meters 180? Thanks. So there's something kind of wispy just below where we were looking. A lot of stuff there, actually. Uh, yeah, there's tons of stuff. <laughs> so there are at least three kinds of bamboo coal right here. An Isoridogorgia, that spirally yeah. coral. Chrysogorgia. Chrysogorgia. And I think I'm spotting a Romilogorgia militaris. That's that white one in the background. That's what I was looking at. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Want to get a zoom there, Div? That'll be a good zoom. Yeah, so these sort of leggy looking bamboos on the right side, those look like they're branching at the nodes, I think. Is that what I'm seeing? And then this bamboo Zalo. coral has some zoanthids on it. Yeah. Well, run it into it. Yeah, the, this leggy looking one might be Achenella weberi. And that's the Romilogorgia militaris. And there's a couple little anemones on the branches. Those might be Amphianthus. Quite the Argus view. Yeah. And a great zoom.
All right, come on, Dave. It's very good. It's nicely done. Nicely wow. done for free fly in there. Yeah, that looks great. This is a great shot, too. Oh, well, it looks yeah. like a sparse branching bamboo. In the lower right, or left, lower left. Is this oh, still yeah. cam take this one? Yeah, that one. Is that what Mary wants? It might be. Too mm. many corals to There's sit so on many. anything. <laughs> Can we get a zoom on that? This one here? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. I gotta get back a bit. I think the lights are included. Wow. Can you get a zoom there, Dave? Is the still cam still taking pictures every, like, so many seconds? Yeah, it should be taking pictures every 10. Oh, it has oh. a little thing on it. It's got a little jelly. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so tiny. <laughs> it is tiny. I don't really know what, is this what she wants? Should we this sample that? This one's nodally branching. And I would describe it as sparse. It only has three branches. And if we can get that little guy, it'll probably pop off. It's not feeding. Yeah. Should we sample this? Uh, yeah, let's sample this. I think this might be something she's interested in. Megan, can we scoot one way or the other just so the, the tether's not coming up in our face here? Okay. Um, do you want to back up a little bit more? It seems like Argus is finally getting back behind us. Yeah, I mean, it's too, it's too straight in line. I get the tether and the camera view. All right. Do you want to go 140? Yeah. All right. Bridge now. Can we move 10 meters, 140? So right now we have two sponges both occupying A and B forward bio boxes. And since the bamboo coral gets pretty slimy, I'm assuming we don't want to share spaces with Um that. I would put it in the um, bio box with the coral, or the sponge we sampled. Okay. Yeah. okay. yeah, you can just stick it right on top. I just don't want to mix DNA between uh, corals or sponges okay. I see. of the same kind. What about a snip and slurp? Um, a seven surf would work too. Can you come what, Dave? Hmm. I'm gonna get close to these other corals. Yeah. Yeah, it's challenging. That one is the one above it. It's also partially dead, right? Yeah, looks like it. Where are we going? The other one of the lasers. And then you you just want like one branch? Yeah, one branch. Come up a bit. Yeah, the Any, lower one. Anyone? Yep. Can we zoom in, Dave? <laughs> one branch, huh? Maybe that. Whatever. Oh. That's plenty. That looks good. Can you grab any? No, I guess not. Oh. Oh. Any pieces on the porch? It's gone. Might be.
No, I don't think so. Oh well. Oh. Okay. Keep an eye out for others. Ah. Wow. So this wall kind of runs, what, northeast, southwest? Perk's facing three, yeah, almost two north, yeah. Turn. About, yeah, north, northeast. Hmm. Um, and can we zoom out and just take a look at waypoint? I think it's still north of here, right? North yep. northwest. So, hmm. so maybe we could uh, <coughs> lateral along this to the right, and then cut over to waypoint four. You know, depending on how long this feature is. Okay. <coughs> Let's try that. So, so maybe like a zero three or zero three zero. We want to be safe and keep them off yeah. the wall. Yeah, I don't want to get too close. I was thinking zero four five, or is that too far back? You just never know when any of these lobes yeah. will pop out. Yeah. All right. Bridge now. Can we make a ten meter move zero four five at point three knots? Thanks. Can we zoom right below where your labor stars are right now? Go for a zoom, Dave. What is this? Chrysogorgia? Yep, it's a type of Chrysogorgia. It's like a straight down view. <laughs> but that can be helpful sometimes because they can come with two planes. So something like this, it does look like it has the two planes, so it'd be like Chrysogorgia crises. Yeah. This wasn't sure. I was like, is it a black coral? Is it a Chrysogorgia? I'm not sure. That was a good view. Thank you. There's some really bright yellow parazoanthids yeah. on that bamboo. Get a zoom there, Dave. It's a cool angle being on top instead of like right in front of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's actually two kinds of zoanthids on this coral. There's some white, white ones and there's those yellow ones. So, like the pink ones, you mean? Like, yes. The, like, like these versus these? Yeah, so all of this is zoanthids. None of it is live bamboo. Mm -hmm. Wow. How does it get two zoanthids on it? Um, 
So Ant had settled on it of two kinds and now they're competing with each other for space. There might actually be three. See, there's like a, a yellow, bright yellow kind. That one too, yeah. There's like orange, kind of a whitish pink, and then the bright yellow. Pink yeah. looks like it's winning. Yeah. Pink probably got there first. <laughs> okay. Go yeah, forward. that's neat. I think we're a little too far away now. All uh, right, too too <laughs> far away. All right. Yeah. Um, Maybe a zero three or yeah, zero two five. Yeah. Okay. Bridge now. Can we make a ten meter move? Zero two five. Gives a nice broad view, though. Yeah. 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 If there's any, like, 20-foot Iridogorgia <laughs> sticking out, we'll be <laughs> We won't miss it. Yeah. You never know. Could be. Argus view looks really cool. I know. Whew, what a so steep. Yeah. Heck of a climbing wall. I feel like it'd be slippery. <laughs> yeah, the Ferromanganese crust would break off really easily. <laughs> Let's print, uh, zoom that one that we're got the lasers on. The stick looking one? Yeah, the stick one. All right, maybe a little bit. Looks like another kind of bamboo, an unbranched one. Yeah, this one looks like it has all the polyps on one side of the branch, so it might be a bathy gorge, yeah. I haven't noticed any sponges on this wall yet. I've seen a few with okay. of those leafy kind that we collected. All right. Yeah. Since we already did collect one, I know we have good footage of those. There was a bunch of them on the last wall feature that we came across. Found tons of bamboo coral. Oh. Looks like we uh, are leaving a sweet spot. Yeah. There might be more. I see something, maybe a Chrysogorgia there. Almost center. Yeah, what's that little pink spot? Probably a Chrysogorgia. Zoom in there, Dave. Mm-hmm. Or is it? Yeah. Yeah. They're so fine looking. Like Very fine. Not Very as stacked. thick as the others. Bless you. Bless you. Another Chrysogorgia.
Megan, there's a question on the zooanthids and what would cause the different color in them since there's no light or, you know, color is not really a factor down here. Um, I'm actually not really sure. Uh, they're, they're different species. So, and color can vary between species or w within species sometimes. Uh, but what causes the colors exactly uh, is yep. kind of unknown. Like there is no All real right, advantage on, for the color to be yellow or pink. Mm -hmm. um, but it could be something like a chemical in their tissue that discourages predators from eating them. Uh, it, that happens to color that coral yellow. That's just one theory, but yeah, there's we don't know for sure why that color is the way it is. Hmm. Something sizable up here. Yep. So if viewers want to take a nice look at the Argus, a nice Argus view of Herc yeah. examining this wall on channel two. It's a couple hundred meters high, I believe. Corley, someone's wondering how you see how the rocks have like this weird texture to them? The like botryoidal texture? Yeah, like yeah. how is that formed? Yeah, um, this is a question <laughs> that I've been asking myself as well. Um, but I think it's the ferromanganese crust because you wouldn't get this in a lava flow, um, especially if it was crusted over, you wouldn't be able to see that texture. Um, so I think what it probably is, is you have these little sediment particles that settled on it, and it probably has something to do with the way minerals grow and like what area is more energetically favorable for the mineral to grow in that direction, and they grow in these kind of little botryoid forms. Mm. But if you, if you look at pictures of the clarion Clipperton zone, which is this zone in the Pacific, it's outside of the USEEZ. Um, it's just this large uh, field of nodules on the seafloor. It looks like this, but the nodules are larger. Okay. But it has that texture. Jake, are you able to do you have tether to drop down a, me a few meters? Uh, yeah, we're getting a little bit closer, so now I can. You can come on, Dave. Thanks. Just a little bit. Lower, yeah, maybe. those nodules can get kind of big, like potatoes. Yeah. But so I'm thinking this is just like a micro scale oh, version big, of that. Big, big coral coming up. Oh yeah, it's pretty nice. This will be a good uh, Argus shot. Oh. Is this kind of what we were looking at back there? Uh, the um, this one zoom? might be different. It's a little bit different color and when we zoom in, it, we're going to look in to see if it's branching at the nodes or inner nodes. I have a feeling this one's nodally branching, which would make it different. Nodally. 
Yep. <laughs> That's a funny word. Nope. Yeah, we just like makeup words and sometimes. <laughs> oh, there's a fish. A noodly. Fish. Oh, uh, a stars, a stars, Mul multiple stars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rebel stars. Yeah. We're hitting that like 11 p.m. time of the yeah. slowly losing it. <laughs> Noodly, stars. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. So it is branching nodally. So this one is Jason Isis. That's cool. I love this color. Yeah. I feel like bamboo coral could make a really nice wallpaper type like design. Yeah. Very pretty. I'm Maybe. sure they make that. Yeah. Um, or you could have it made. <laughs> totally. This you could know, be a really pretty screensaver. You could just yeah. take the Nautilus it, screenshot. <laughs> Looks like, yeah. I want to use this as my screensaver. Oh, what is that swimming underneath? It's a little amphipod. How cute. Oh, yeah, it's just small. It's just a little. <laughs> and then. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's a. Hydrozoan. Thing. Right behind some of those polyps. Is that this thing? Yeah. That's called tubularity. Tubularity. It's yep. totally tubularity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's one of those Agenoina. Um, jellyfish. Oh. This? Yep. And then is that something else? That's an anemone. And then an this anemone. is also an anemone? Yep, that's another anemone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that one of those jellyfish <laughs> micro habitat. It is. Why are there so, so many of these jellyfish? Predatory jellies. Predatory jelly. Jelly. Do you so think pretty. it would hurt you if it stung you? Um. Oh. Yeah, it probably would not feel great. But it's so small. It is small, but doesn't mean it won't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but would you care? Because it's so small, you'd be like, oh, that's so cute. Um, I don't know. <laughs> would you care if something hurt you? <laughs> Even though it was cute? <laughs> I've never been stung by a jellyfish, so I don't know the pain. You're that's cute, like so I forgive you, kind of. <laughs> a pretty big a pretty big. Oh, that's coral. pretty wild. Yeah. You see at the base there, it sent yeah. down an extra little, like. Extra. Yeah, it just like, like I really this. don't want to come off of I this rock. I don't want to come off this rock. <laughs> I better put down some extra roots here. <laughs> I am permanently on this rock now. How old do you think this coral is? Um, it's pretty. It's got a pretty thick base. I know. That's so why I'm curious. It could. It's probably like one to two hundred really? years old. Really? Yeah. Old the guy. best way to. Uh, measure it would be to measure the width of the base or the, the radius of the base um, and that would give you a better idea of how old it is um, but growth rates for bamboo vary across the different species <coughs> so you'd have to see if there's a paper on, that's described the growth rate of uh, bamboo corals from this depth yeah. in the G uh, Jason Isis genus. Nice work on that zoom. Yeah, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they do grow very slowly. And so something that thick is definitely very old. Coralie Salmon says there's also really cute and baby man o' war jellyfish that you don't want to go near, but they're cute as little ones. No. <laughs> Those hurt from what I heard. Oh, they are cute when they're little. Whoa, nice collection oh, wow. up here. Yeah, see, the wall's kind of bumped out a little bit, and there's tons of corals. And there is a oh, big one that. sticking out. Yeah, the long one. That Down. might be a Ritagorgia. Yeah. Yep. A Ritagorgia magnus spiralis. Those very large spirals. And then there's a sponge on a stalk. It looks kind of like it's drooping. Oh, pretty. 
Yeah, it looks like one of those Sacacalyx sponges. And then we got Jasonysis and Echnomyces, bamboo corals, Chrysogorgia, and some of that leafy Phoreid um, sponge that we collected earlier that almost tried to escape, <laughs> but we got it back in the box. So no worries there. <laughs> it's a cool Argus shot too of showing like the corner of this almost yeah. looks like. Like a box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Step away. Yeah. I'm working on it. <laughs> An Aritagorgia. This is going to be a really nice look at that. I'm going to zoom there, Dave. And a halosaur? I don't know. I'm just naming things. Yeah, there's something. <laughs> oh, pretty. I love these. I just love how they spiral like that. I know, they're pretty wa wonderful. <laughs> Bridge now. Oh. There's uh, a crinoid stuck yeah. to it. Another good wallpaper. Oh, you know. Wow. Purple, deep purple crinoid. I have to come up a bit. Uh, at the end of my leash, that? I'm getting yanked around. How is or maybe it's a custom. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to guess. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on, on this Aritagorgia, there is a crinoid in the right. family Xenometridae. Come on, Dave. Called a bit. Sathometra. And that's with the pH, because, you know, why not? Or P.S. Yeah, that, that one's always a hard one for me to spell. P.S. for Sapphometra? Yeah. Yes. Why, uh, so with the T.H., I don't know. It's, you got to look it up. Zoom, I can't spell that one. There. <laughs> <laughs> that starts with a P. No, you have to try spelling it. You're being graded on this. No. <laughs> it's my worst subject in school. Spelling. There should be a spelling bee just for scientific names. Mm. Oh, God. That sounds yeah, horrible. That <laughs> it's like a whole new level of spelling. That's cool. Super, super luck with this. Love it. Megan, will these just grow and grow and grow, or do they eventually stop? Um, they do get very long, but I do think they would eventually stop. Why? Probably because they get old, like all things do. So if we were to cut off like the end of it, would it c keep growing back to that like size? Um, it, it might continue to grow if you cut off the end, like, but this one, for example, is quite a large one, but you can see it's being colonized uh, by some zoanthids along the stalk there, mm -hmm. and a lot of the branches are missing, yeah. so it's probably near the end of its lifetime. Aww. How are we doing? Is Argus moving off a little? Oh, no. Not much? All right. We need more. Yeah, and east. East. More east. <laughs> zero nine zero. Bridge nav. Can we move ten meters zero nine zero? Yeah, we might in the interest of time we might have to move on. So I could look at this wall all night. But we need to make some headway on our track. Yeah, I think the currents near this wall keep shifting a little bit. It's pushing us differently. Wow. 
it's cool. There's a nice, really big Aritagorgia. We're in the danger zone. That's a cool look. Yeah. It's really pretty. Yeah. This is my favorite deep sea coral. 